there's a put even even down on Blu-ray. I don't know if mm. they have. I actually have remaster I retouching. I heard they were putting it down on Laserdisc actually. That the, would be fire. The big fucking CD. Yeah. 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 You need that because it's a long show. Well, the yeah, retro right, throwback stuff is like super in vogue. Like people are yeah. super into cassettes, and I've been yeah. seeing the laser disc. Yeah, yeah. We just talking about the We just talking about the talk boy. Mm -hmm. The talk boy from Home Alone. From Home Alone. Yeah. Fire. Is that real or fictional? Yeah. It it was fictional. No, it's real. They made it real. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah that's fire. Yeah. yeah. But it, it's connected it's to sort the nostalgia. Like a Marty fly shoe situation. Conversation. Yeah. Trying to make it sound like. Uh, laser. Uh, Laser disc? Nostalgia, Nostalgia and... Remember the talk boy? Oh. Shut the fuck up. Let Excuse a real, me? Let a real nigga talk. Just oh. me or them too? Just me. What? I feel like you confused me a little bit. Let a real nigga talk. Yeah, just hold on. I just let him... Welcome to Jaded. I'm your host, Zach Fox. It's been a wild year. We learned a lot, we saw a lot. But now, we reached that moment where we gotta take what we learned, these lessons, and apply them in different ways. What is he talking about? To technology, healthcare, love, relationships, and most importantly, my niggas. I know what you're talking about. You see what I'm talking about? You know what the fuck I'm talking about. I lost everything I got. Cause I be saying too much. I got my ass beat. Okay. Just yesterday. Why? Why? Cause I was playing too much. That's real. That's real. These bars right here is for fuck niggas. Tell them, baby. My girl gonna leave. Why? She find out that I fuck niggas. I've been there. I've been there. I pull up. Yeah. On foot. Okay. Like, what's up, niggas? Yeah, you heard him. Then I get my ass whooped again. I guess that's what's up. That's the game, nigga. With niggas. No. I ain't got no friends. That's it. All he got is lovers, nigga. Wow. Um, guys, uh, that was great. great. Yeah. That I mean, how about with that? Yeah. 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 No, that was, that was tight. It was oh, I got a little emotional there. Yeah. That was that was really good. <laughs> I was a little yeah. in my feelings right, right quick. Yeah. No, yeah. That, was, that was. Thank you for sharing that. I mean, yeah. Yeah. What, what's your name? Oh, okay. <clears throat> Don't worry about what I'm doing. I'm a little worried about what it, my though. name. What my name is. Don't even. Okay. It's so heavy, he don't got to finish the sentence. You, you get what I'm saying, type shit for Yeah. Him. Just yeah. know one thing, I'm I'll God. Leave. You're I'm, God? I'm God in this bitch. Oh, okay. Well, I'm in. Oh, where? Okay. Are, are we in heaven? Is that he made all this happen. Yeah, that's what y'all don't realize. Oh, that's, what that's why yeah, we don't have dead. the oh, legends yeah. of the yeah. hidden temple thing around? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Y'all okay. dead. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, for real? Y'all dead, yeah. Fuck. Oh, I'm, I'm not dead. No, you dead. No, no, no. I am dead? You dead, yeah. It sounds like you're dead. Yeah. That's actually, you know Shit. what? That's actually we died together. That's kind of hard. I did. That is kind of hard. How if do we wanna, die? If y'all yeah. want to move on, what's the next plane? How do we die though? Was it that how, Uber how driver do, on the way die? to set? That's what it was. He was skipping all the red lights. Y'all died. From, I, he died from food poisoning. I ain't even ride that's, over. That's I didn't even ride over here with them though. Hmm? I ain't even ride over you here. You got with hit them. by the car. Oh, oh fuck! Yeah. I did. You, I forgot. The car like bent like Superman. I don't think it was any of this. I think it was Yaddle.
there's a Zach Fox as prophet thing germinating now. Yeah. As, oh, yeah. Well, the Kanye Nazi thing, mm -hmm. you tweeted in like 2018, but people are also saying with the yaddle, the yaddle shit. Oh, oh, bro. Oh, bro, I've been going ham on Yaddle. On Yaddle. <laughs> I've been going dumb, <laughs> stupid, doo doo dumb on my research on Yaddle, bro. I know Yaddle is a female, but look at this nigga. Hold like, up, for real? Yeah. Fuck <laughs> all the Star Wars shit. I need a Yaddle movie. <laughs> I need a Yaddle movie. And I then... think they're similarly impacting culture, also. I would argue. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wait, I think Zach, it's like Zach, damn, Yaddle Zach, Zach and, and the Nazi pipeline. No, 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 Yaddle and uh, Adolf. Yay. Yeah. Adolf yeah. yeah. <laughs> West. Hold on, did you did it's it again? Adolf West. Yeah. <laughs> Adolf West. He keeps saying Adolf <laughs> Kanye. <laughs> That's way funnier. Yeah, Adolf <laughs> Kanye. <laughs> Just get the name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kanye Hitler is pretty good though. Kanye yeah, Hitler. yeah. But that sounds like yeah, two yeah, first names. Hitler. Like, that's like yeah. two separate people. Yeah. There was yeah. one tweet though on the Kanye Nazi thing that tickled me. It was like some clearly some random white Italian guy, and he was like tweeting or retweeting your tweet, and he was like, "I don't know who this guy is," <laughs> but he knew what he was talking about. How the fuck did he know what I was gonna <laughs> have? That's the fun shit to me, like seeing. Like Zach Fox, like as a <laughs> like as a, in pop there. culture, like world, mainstream, they're like, out. yeah, they don't yeah, really yeah. know who you are, yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah. something resonated with them. A little bit more investigation to be like, oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> right, like, oh, nah, he's a should... fucking. He's this a fucking lip tart like, cuck, and oh, I fucking shared his tweet. He was actually fuck? wrong about a lot of shit. It turns out. Yeah. Was there yeah. was there a moment that made you want to tweet that? Like, I know that was during the Trump shit, but like, was there a specific like, all right? Gosh. You were the catalyst for it. I think it was. It was right around the time that he was doing the, the super duper like contrarian thing. Like, really started to come out. We talked oh, about yeah. this uh -huh. a bunch, but like the contrarian like, you know. If, if all of y'all are walking this direction and I walk that direction and people mm. start following me, right then now I, and he just gets off on that little thing and I got eight up for saying that shit. Like, At the really? time. I got eight oh, up. Yeah. I deleted the tweet. Well, I got banned uh -huh. shortly thereafter, but I deleted the tweet because I was just like, people are in my mentions too much. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it got screenshotted and shit and I was just like, I was like, I, I didn't think it was going to happen like that. Mm -hmm. I didn't think it was going to literally be like, I thought he'd get close to it. Right. Have, have you seen anybody share that, that you know was harassing you the day you tweeted it? <laughs> yeah, I, I can't think that far back, but I know it's somebody. It's yeah. like, no, like, niggas uh, were calling me like anti-black. Like people oh, were fully wow, calling wow. me like, yeah, wow. yeah. Like fully being like, ah, you, ah, you, you hate, you hate your own. Like blah, Niggas blah, blah. can't do genocide, nigga. Yeah, and they were like, whoa, whoa, slow your roll. Because he had just put out, slow yay. He had just put out an album. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, you can't do that, I guess, while someone's on their album. That one was hard. He talked about killing his wife, like, intro. Yeah, no, he was sane. Well, he, he was sane. He, he was totally sane. Well, he did it in a way that seemed sweet. <laughs> <laughs> the right. shit we were texting about, the clip of him on Alex Jones, I literally couldn't stop laughing at the way he said Hitler. Like he was bass. He's like, no, Hitler. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of things that I love about Hitler. A lot of things. Love. <laughs> love. No, there Hitler. are lots of things to like no, but, about yeah, but, Hitler. <laughs> no, but, 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 but the Nazis are obviously are atrocious people. You're not saying that you like Hitler, right? You're not yeah. saying he, he was like, you know, it's one thing to say they dress really well and they have, they, they yeah, have nice got, style or something like, like that. that. I get the, uh, the Hugo Boss uniforms, amazing. Uh, but I mean, just because you're in love with the design, you're a designer. Can we just kind of say, like, you like the, the you like the uniforms? But that's about no, it. No, we we no. But you like the uniforms. You don't really like. You don't really like. You like the uniforms. Obviously, obviously yeah. everybody everybody likes the Hugo Boss thing. But you, you, right. You're yeah. saying. No, he actually <laughs> said he actually said this. Yeah. 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 He was like, yeah. I mean, you, you could say they got nice shoes right. and shit. Like, right. you could right. say you fuck with their lineups, but you don't really right. mean. 
No, right. nigga. Yeah. yeah. Alex Jones I, and Steven Crowder both have been like, we all agree Nazis are bad, right? And yeah. like Steven Crowder's getting- He was nervous. Like, Steven I'll Crowder was nervous He because he didn't know how his, I'll he knew this. there was going to be pushback from his base. I hate it for Kanye, but I love it for them because he's doing to them what I felt like Trump was doing to racist white people in general was yeah. that Trump came out and was just like, hi, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm this, mm -hmm. and America is this. And you, of course, it was like disgusting or whatever, but we were mm -hmm. like, damn, I would rather a transparent version. Yeah. It feels like when your mom- throwing it back in their face. It yeah. feels like when yeah. your mom starts showing baby pictures and shit, it's like, look at you with your little, little swastika. Look at you, you used to be so cute. Right, right. He's, he's this Ewing them on, on and action. All these, yeah, and all right. these far right niggas are just like, crazy evangelical anti-Semites right. who know that they don't want to say how they feel about Jewish people fully out loud. Right. But they do, they're like, all of this shit is based off of like end times prophecy mm -hmm. where yeah. they want like another Holocaust to happen. Yeah. Right? But you can't say that out loud. Cause then it's funny. It's not even based on end time prophecy. It's based on like a silly book somebody wrote in like the thirties. Yeah. The fucking oh, yeah, protocols. Yeah. I don't know wow. when that shit was written, but yeah. like some shit that's proven untrue. Yeah. It's literally just like the Jews are having a secret meeting. And yeah. they were like, and they had like a stenographer like taking the minutes and shit. Yeah. Like yeah, it's far, the silliest it's concept. Right, for a niggas, book. It's literally like the they, covenant from Halo. Right. Type shit. Like. The interesting thing to me in this more recent development with Kanye and the, you know, Nazism or whatever is seeing the right wing conflict intention like between like right wing Zionists and and like right wing Jewish people right, even right, yeah. and then the rest of this the right, -wing, right wing Jewish yeah. people are going wait, wait wait a second right wait, wait so where do you right. stand that's why on, you like where do you right, stand right, on that right, yeah. right, didn't like right. Ben Shapiro have a whole like oh, yeah. spasm on Wait, he yeah. do yeah, really? I think so. I feel like he had... In like or, the last week or something? Yeah, I think there was like a... I haven't actually seen it, but I just saw like the YouTube headline of just like him trying to like like push through some cognitive dissonance and defend Kanye or some shit. I don't remember what the fuck it was. Kanye is a revolutionary agent, guys. So in discontent. <laughs> yeah, he went he's, inside he's surviving he, yeah, he, he knows up. what he's doing. Can you imagine you know, that type of Kanye fan in this moment? That's, yeah, that's he right. knows what he's doing, guys. No, he's, bro, he's, it's he intentional. He's dividing the right already. I, no, he's splintering I, the right. I saw him on Alex Jones. I was like, somebody's going to say that shit. They yeah. know for a fact. They did. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah they did. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. They're not going to stop. That's, <laughs> yeah, like, that's, right. yeah, that was, that's right. been done. Yeah, yeah. No, he got an album on the way. Right. Yeah. Hey, Sam, yeah. can we uh, get some trees in here? <laughs> can we just freshen it up, the, the, the background here? Watch this, folks. Watch what we are, watch watch where we go. I want to be in touch with nature. Technology Nick. fucked up, bro. It's crazy. The Let's world the, is, the world is your oyster. Let's take the Hermie Millies first. Some, a wise man once said. Hermie Millies. <laughs> wise man once said, the world is your oyster. I like to say oh, I'm so sick. the world is my forest. A forest in which I can play. A forest in which I can be gay. Smell the trees. A forest in which I can build tree houses and homes. Yeah. Nature is wonderful. Oh. We my God. as a species are a part of nature. Yeah. But we've fallen off track. Yeah. What was no that, what was that like that you threw up, Zach? You know what I want? Sociology gang, nigga. Three million bad bitches. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. You know how you get three million bad bitches? You acknowledge the relationship between human, human and non-human nature. That's what you do. That's what you gotta nah, do. Nah, nigga, money. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. And to be in balance with non-human nature, we have to reject patriarchy and reject bitches. The terminology. That's, that's, as a word, oh, the as a word. The terminology. Okay. As a word, not as a. Concept. I'm not Nick Fuentes right. here. Not as a concept. Do you know about Nick Fuentes? No. Why he thinks having familiar? sex with women is gay. Like for real, for real? Yes. Mm -hmm. He's like living the joke. Having sex yeah. with women is gay. <laughs> Why is he, Nick what's Fuentes. The, what's the. 
He is a Nazi who who um, he's the one. He's one of the people with Kanye rolling around with Kanye. He got right popular now. during the Trump shit, like Gavin McGinnis did, Milo. He's mm. like one of the alt right guys. But what's yeah. the happen? You've probably with... seen him. He does like a little live show where he's got like a really shitty like fake Seattle skyline behind him and like a fake three D set type thing. You ever seen yeah. like a dude from Chicago that looks like he like you can tell from the front he has scoliosis? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's, got wow. like a, like that. he's got like a troll face. Yeah, yeah. fucked up back. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's wait, what how, what's his uh reasoning that having for sex having with women? For having scoliosis? No, yeah, but having sex with women is gay. Is he for real? I think he's like only 10% joke. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Is it cuz like Should we pull the clip up? Never having a girlfriend, never having sex with a woman really makes you more heterosexual because honestly dating women is gay having sex with women is gay and having sex with men is gay and then you know it's really it's all gay and if you want to know the truth the only really straight heterosexual position is to be an asexual incel he's probably in the 19 to 23 window you know, well, so like when you hate like, women enough, you literally just think that. Yeah, you're yeah. Just, yeah you're yeah. like, we shouldn't even have sex with him. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I do think he's like, in the nineteen to twenty-three window, so it gives me like I'm a virgin and I'm ang a angry vibes and frustrated vibes. It's like only that could that could come out of the mouth of someone who doesn't know what they're actually talking right. about. You know, yeah. it involves emotions. Niggas really do hate women. You gotta have feelings for people. Yeah, feelings are gay. That yeah, shit crazy. Yeah. yeah. That shit really wild. Yeah, like, it is. Hating women and hating themselves. Because they see the women inside of them. Hating women because they hate themselves. Are you going? <laughs> and... <laughs> that's what's and crazy. That's, <laughs> that's, what's, that's what's crazy about the page. It. That's what's really crazy. The page? The page? <laughs> oh, the page. <laughs> You man, know about fuck that the page. page, man. We you don't fuck with the page. page we hate the page. I hate the page. Hate the page. I hate that page. <laughs> you know they got that patriarchy. <laughs> Good luck. You got that patriarchy. You have to get past first. You got that patriarchy up in you. Yeah. All up patriarchy. in you. Yeah. Try, but <laughs> there's 100 like some West bit. Virginia feminist who talks exactly like that. <laughs> right and here. I fucks with them. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's that's it's like a probably fire. Like, yeah, it's like a feminist coal miner, a feminist hillbilly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, what's the Abbott Elementary shit been like this year? Mm. Like the feed, the feedback. Or yes, like yes. Because it's 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 wild when I'm getting what would I call them? Uh, Zach Fox thirst trap TikToks <laughs> that are <laughs> that's viral. True. To retract. People are like thirsty. people are texting me that. I I, uh, I saw a screenshot on accident mm -hmm. that uh, I don't even want to read it. I w but I I would like if you read it. Okay. Because it was the one where I was like, like I think getting all of that stuff just makes me be like, I just got to leave the app. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm just like, you know, yeah, what I mean? yeah. not leave, but I'm just like, ah, I can't, you can't see that can't all day. Indulge you can't in indulge that. that. You have yeah. to just go read books and like, right. Look at like. It's the algorithm you know, pushing too. your own thirst traps to you. You, you, have, the, oh, you have the, you uh, have the screenshot. Because uh, you're interested in Zach Fox, probably. Eight, autosexual, they mm -hmm. call it. Yeah. That is disgusting. <laughs> I'll do my best to read this out loud. <laughs> Zach Fox from Abbott? Yes! Oh my God, Janine boyfriend. He's so fine. I be leaving the TV screen all wet and gooey when his part come on the TV. No, wet and gooey? Bro, how close to the TV are you sitting? <laughs> no, Man, back up. Yeah, <laughs> what a shield in front of it. That's a, Holy I shit. I be that's leaving a, the a... TV screen all wet and gooey when his part Come, she said, Coke in the TV, but <laughs> that's wow. his Instantly. part come on the TV. That's not that was so yeah. that so casually escalated to jizzing on that's the TV. That's a nightmare, bro. That's, that's great. And I, I think so much of my online presence is like being kind of a it's like inviting that. I, no, I, I mean, like, I like being kind of like 
like a sexless dweeb online. Like I don't. Yeah. I'm well, that's not, the like, part that's. Hot, I don't want to be in himbo world, but it's like yeah, that because that's where it goes. You end up like one of them. Dudes. Right. It, it, well, like, see, this is the thing that tickles me is like the the whole thing with people doing these like I don't know what to call it. Is it is it a thirst? It's horny horny tweets. Is horny it a all, fan? Horny all They're TikToks. Yeah. Um, but they have like a specific narrative like for you. It's right, like they're right. creating narratives for you that right. are tied to the, this fictional character in the show. So they're like, oh, you know, he's he's goofy, but, you know, when them doors close, he fucking your shit up. You know, it's like they're like doing, <laughs> right. that's a part of the narrative <laughs> that they're, like, he seems kind of goofy at the beginning, but then you want him to be in your gut. But you just kind of like live with it and be cool. Because that's right. how black people watch TV. Right, right, right. Of that's course. just how we watch TV, especially as what, now, squirt, like since squirt like. Squirt and goo on the screen? Since Insecure, like, black people watch TV like that. No, you are that. Yeah. You're, oh, you're, sure. you're, that, you're that person. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? And like being like super into it and insecure was the first show ever to have like a right and a hashtag where the whole nation's watching it at one time oh yeah and our super invest in the writer's room had to take note of how invested yeah. they were online so it kind of like melded the two worlds where people are like super invested i've never right. i've never seen white people like watch the office or something and be like you know what I mean? Yeah, like, be that's like over the line with how right. we say best be like, in character. If this right. shit doesn't go the way I want it, I'm gonna kill myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's really The Walking Dead is the only one where they're like, if so and so dies, we riot. That's really? The one. Oh yeah. yeah. I guess Walking Dead. I felt, I Walking Dead was insecure. Three. Walking felt, Dead was insecure for white people. <laughs> <laughs> it came at the same that time. That felt a little bit manufactured though. Like they did that in house because they had the talk. They had Talking Dead on right after. It felt like they, they were, were trying, trying to, like, to cultivate the yeah. fan base. Yeah, Maybe I'm exactly. underestimating how big of an audience they had before that point. Well, I yeah. Don't yeah. I don't, I don't know. know. But no, it was a big thing. I remember when Walking Dead came I'm out. just tickled by a lot, like watching it. Because it's like you're also seeing the, the levels to fame, I guess. Like you're, you're seeing like, and so it's funny to see you, like my dad can just see you on the TV and go like, is that Zach on Abbott? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Or like people would probably in the streets, like it'll be like an old head or like an mm -hmm. uncle or an auntie, and they yeah. just know you from like doing the, you know, the dance. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And it's they don't know jack shit about, you know, anything else. Yeah. Right. I love it. It's just that. interesting. Yeah. I love it. it it's <laughs> like it feels like you're living two different lives. When right. The, at when the, the, yeah, the same when the time. When the TSA auntie is like, ah. right, right, <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah. I just love you, like you're so cute on there, and I'm like, you can hear it just be like, I never heard Jesus is the one. Yeah, what is yeah. That? She's like, <laughs> I got depression. What? Yeah. what? Are you okay, baby? What is that? Yeah, it's like yeah. this wild, staggered line of a of a career. Line. Right. I'm trying to do like Hitch Two next. Mm. <laughs> you know who what I mean? Who is your Who is your Kevin James? Uh, Stavros. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Connor, I said, this nigga's a full foot taller than he you could kill it. me. You had it there. Stavros, Stavros is a good hit. Stavros as Kevin, yeah, that yeah. should be, that should be funny. Because you need someone, like, short. Hits too, yeah. but Hitch dies in it. Like, he gets, like, blown up. <laughs> <laughs> the original it's hitch. Like, no, me. No, I'm, no, it opens with Will Smith blowing oh, Will up. Smith and, dies, and I'm like the <laughs> Batman Beyond. You're his son. Yeah, yeah. Hitch. I'm like, like I'm, I'm the Terry. What's his name? Terry, Terry McGinnis. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You gotta wow. wear the same clothes as him. <laughs> same shit. Yeah. It's called Hitch to the Streets. <laughs> You're visiting Hitch's grave hitch at the beginning of the It's just movie. Hitch Beyond. It's yeah. great. Yeah. <laughs> hitch, yo, hitch is, My hitch is be shopping. so hard. Burden. Yeah, yeah. 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 My dad used to pull so hard. We're talking about Will Smith, and he's like doing his monologue with like a new guy, and they're like, you know how he's doing this thing, like, mm -hmm. there's no rules to love, right? <laughs> Any woman can be swept off her feet, but all she needs is the right broom. And they're doing that at the beginning, but then like a van real comes out of nowhere. Yes, he's <laughs> obsessed with Hitch. Yeah, I gotta rewatch it. That's yeah. like a shit. van comes out of nowhere, hits Will Smith. 
two guys come out, full splinter cell gear, finish them off like they're in the street. <laughs> Swiss cheese. Swiss cheese them up. The, the Kevin James guy at the beginning is like, future. he's like, whoa, what the fuck? And they take him, they put like one of them blankets on him, his ambulance and stuff. They're like, listen, man, you, you did a great job. Um, Hitch was an international terrorist. You know, he <laughs> is responsible for the deaths of thousands across the world and and wow. we made sure to keep you safe so yeah. we we had to do that I'm sorry we had to kill him to free Brittany Griner yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and the only way we could have it is, damn hitches be tripping y'all <laughs> doop doop do hitch too uh. hitches be tripping <laughs> be hitches be tripping hitch what's the deal with hitch what's the deal with hitch <laughs> Kevin James is very attractive. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't need help. <laughs> he disagrees with the consumer. It's, the best movie <laughs> it's just objectively like Dude, one of the all best those Will I Robot, like all those movies in the late two thousands. Seven well. pounds. I didn't Seven see that pounds. one. But he was so serious. In that. Is, is yeah. it funny? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I almost believed you, you son of a bitch. I almost believed. <laughs> Isn't, yeah. isn't it like he fucked up seven people's lives, seven yes. people's lives? Mm -hmm. Is that what it is? I'm <laughs> yeah. reaching. No, I thought you seven. were just. Oh, no, I've never seen it. I just know it's like, yeah, he, he fucked up seven people. I mean, there's like a jellyfish seven. thing in there. The seven people really? that weigh one pound each. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We should talk well, about it's the, heart, the heart is one that pound. Oh. Right? Oh, wow. So, so seven, seven hearts. Pounds, and he wanted to, mm. like, I don't fucking remember. That sounds yeah, like a sequel yeah, to Hitch. Yeah, 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 like an anthology yeah, movie about yeah, yeah, seven yeah, yeah. different times. He yeah, pounded yeah. seven pounds. Yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's like the heart part four. I kind of want to see all his movies <laughs> in one. Like, I want to, not all of them, but all maybe like. All of his characters interacting with each other. I want to, well, I want to see a movie where he's Hitch and Hancock, but also Hancock. homeless, like Pursuit of Happiness. I want to see. And smacking Chris Rock. Yeah. I want to see Joe like they recreate like Hancock Hitch. <laughs> but he just claps Chris Rock's head yeah. off. Like, yeah, he's yeah, got he's, the, he's the, the Hancock, Hancock powers. Shit. Yeah, I want to. Has see... he been rolling? Like, oh, like, and he kills like, Kevin Smith. James because when Kevin James is doing the dance moves and he does the Q-tip thing, he Will Smith, it. Will Smith smacks him. Oh, he smacks, smacks him. him to death. Jaw yeah. spins three. Has Will Smith yeah. just been rolling Smacking. on YouTube? Like, is he just back in his? No, oh. no. Or he's he's been he on, dropped he's that on one YouTube apology tour, bro. He dropped that one YouTube video where he. Apologize or something, but yeah. there hasn't been anything since. Well, yeah, he's been uh, doing a ton of a ton of yeah, like been... press and events, and because he's he's in the new slave movie. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. What's it when called? are we gonna? We do needed it? We, need, movie. we needed another one. It's been a while. Oh, like, well, like scary movie, scary but movie, slave. epic movie. <laughs> not another we have to kill it off. Wow, that and would the only yeah. way to do like it the slave, slave version movie. of Spinal Tap. Yes. Like the like a Dewey, that, yeah, the a Dewey genre. Cox version. The like, yeah. the, yeah, we walk do every, of, we do that's every slave yeah. trope. That's what it would this, have to happen. But really, it's just a workplace comedy. Right. Mm. Oh, this, my God. This whip goes like up to 11. Water like a confessional room, talk, like The Office. Like, like, like they're, they're like, huh. mm. We do Kunta <laughs> Kinsey. I think I've we seen do that. 12 that feels years. like Key and Peele's fetch. Really? Rosewood, like every single one. Yeah. Because that that would really just, we would be done with it. You know what I mean? Like That would kill it. That would kill it off. Big I want to know Slave what movie. the suits and the business and marketing people were like when they received this the screenplay for this film that he's in. And they Emancipation? <sighs> I mean, we do yeah. have, there is a demand uh, coming from down there. Hell? No, the South. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> they want to They see want it. slave movies, guys. We need I, those, I don't know. <laughs> those those Southern it. dollars. And then, and then how did Will Smith end up yeah, you I know, just, you know, I've never, I've never done that. I've never done that. I always wanted to do that. So, I'm gonna do it's that. like it's, I got to do it another one, one for things, the people, you know. It was one of those things that, that put me in a, a, a Umar Johnson, Tariq Nasheed right. space, yeah. right? Immediately, immediately, yeah, where I was yeah. like, you know, <laughs> are you kidding me? I you, beg your that's pardon. what he has to do to say to say sorry to say sorry still. For that, he has I, to. I hope he booked that the day after the Oscars. He's got to be. Really Y'all got a photo. He's going to be on his back. He's going to be on his knees in a scene in the film, and they're going to give him an award and put the scene up on 
on the the <laughs> shoulder. So it's like he's him. like he's apologizing to white people through the roll. Massa. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. No, bro. He like he's like the artist. He's got a dip in his back. <laughs> Please. Oh no. Yo. <laughs> he's about to get whipped. He goes up and puts his arm, his hands up on the wall. He's like, "No, nigga, turn around." <laughs> he just and just <laughs> please just smack this shit out of. Why do I feel like this is actually gonna fucking happen? It's gonna be in the movie. There, it's, it's gonna, gonna be already out. I think it's already. I out. think it just came out. Where, where did he get band. banned? I feel like it's gonna, it was the Oscars. It's Oscars oh, yeah. hard. But did it did it extend beyond that in terms of the Academy? Did they ban him? Beyond I don't that? think so. No. I think there's stuff beyond it. Like when they kick someone out of Walmart. Yeah, no, he's like banned. You are banned from this location and the others. All of the others. You're banned from every Oscars nationwide. He's banned from like Outback Steakhouse. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, it's like whatever you, whatever you see a celebrity get banned from, I think there's like 40% more behind the scenes that maybe they didn't even know. That now yeah. they're banned from. They're just he's, like, oh fuck. Like, he's probably ban- he's banned from loaded. he's banned from every house that has a sign outside that says, "In this house, we support gay marriage." <laughs> yeah, it's it's sad as shit. Like I I don't know that like because that moment. If you would have made it, I loved it so much. You talking about oh. the smack? Yeah. I still uh, I that still was think this year? that was yeah. the craziest televised moment in history since 9-11, in my opinion. One wow. Time. <laughs> <laughs> Steve-O, she had live. Wow. It's wow. not Steve-O, that's Chris. If you watch the footage, oh, that's that's oh. what he sounded like. Oh, oh yeah. wow. Goes, wow. Wow. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Richard. <laughs> yeah. It was a G.I. Jane joke. Dog, yeah. the saddest yeah. shit was when he goes, when he was like, keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. And he just goes, I'm I going w- to. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's the line I was trying to remember. Saddest shit. I'm going to. Yeah, and then the sound cut off. You're like, is there going to be an emergency like storm warning pop up on the screen or something? Right. Like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fourteen <laughs> nukes are coming now. Yeah. <laughs> that's the that's like the a, nu- that a nuclear missile in society. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, it's like one of the most famous pictures. It's going to be one of the most famous pictures of all time. That just mid, yeah. That, oh yeah, that shit. That shit's like um, iconic. Yeah. That's crazy because I like, think he deserved more than what we gave him. You know what I mean? Like, because he did. I don't know how to describe it, but like, you went on the world's largest, <laughs> whitest stage, bro. Yeah. And just acted an ass. And it showed everybody, like, I don't know. It was, it was the perfect person to be slapped, I think. It was the perfect person, the perfect joke, the perfect like other person. Nobody was like more famous than the other one, really. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like if that had been Dave Chappelle, it would have been a completely different narrative around it. But this is a motherfucker. I feel like we're sitting at the Hollywood perfect. round table and you're talking yeah. about a film. <laughs> <laughs> when, you did, when, when you did that, beautiful, right. beautiful work. I mean, I just That's felt like I it was felt. the perfect situation, right. yeah. the perfect performance, your yeah. form. Who trained you? Who, you know? Yeah, I, I just feel like it's crazy because like he would have had to chase me a little bit. Mm. I would have just or just there. do the George <laughs> Bush, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you yeah. know, just or that, just like I'm just doing that, this, just being just like, just being like, whoa, whoa. Just you that know? image of being here at the Oscars yeah. and somebody's approaching you and you just like, <laughs> it's shocking though. That's yeah. like off, su- completely off script, completely like you're like, what the fuck is going on? I'm surprised yeah, yeah. you didn't like just walk off stage. In frustration, Chris. he was like, "No, we got to keep this rolling." Like he's so, yeah. he's so like, um, that's so much, show must go on. That's yep. so much Pilled. pressure. Yep. Yeah, yep, yeah. That that too was like the most. Because it wouldn't have mattered. They would have just cut to commercial. Yeah, they yeah. were going to do that anyways. But like, people didn't know if that was a bit or not because he was fucking just standing there. Right. Like, <laughs> like it was okay. like Will, Will won to me because he did the crazy thing, and it's like. If Chris had just wild out, I would have had so much respect for him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I would have been biting that nigga. You slap me on, slap me anywhere. I'm biting you. <laughs> I'm doing weird shit to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to dismantle that nigga's fingers. On camera. Take his fingy meat. <laughs> <laughs> just, I'm biting off fingies. 
You hear, you hear me? Thingies. Fingies. Chicken fingies. Chicken fingies. Chicken nuggies. What did you eat over there, by the way? What was that? Banh mi. Oh, oh I saw love banh mi. I saw yeah. carrots. I was like, yeah. Yeah, that yeah fucking that bread, that guy, just, that's really what Confetti but... bread. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That flaky Just get shit. everywhere. Taste all yeah. that colonialism. You look great, oh, man, by the way. Yeah, Thank I second that. Congrats on all that Thank shit. You. Yeah. Um, I lost like Are you wearing pounds. Oakley zip-up cargo pants? Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. just noticed they were Oakley. Yeah. Oakley watch. Wow. Damn. Uh, Oakley Doakley. Corey in the Abyss. Girl got class, O.B. Hayes. Corey in, the, <laughs> Corey in the Abyss. I got to credit him for this. He called me Oakley Carmichael. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm running, I'm running with, running with that. Running with that one. Yeah. Yeah. That. yeah. But yeah, what, what's been your like diet? What's been the key to your diet to get, to get this uh, big change? I just formed a bad relationship with food. A bad one? Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. yeah, because I have. He's like, given the context. Because I have. Yeah. Uh, oh, beforehand. Yeah. No, no, like, yeah, to that's get how there. I. Yeah. That's why I look the way I do now, because I have a bad relationship with food. Because right. being on TV gives you in very intense body dysmorphia. Uh-huh. So you, like, you go off of that, and then, like, mm. yeah. And then jump rope. Okay. I've heard the jump rope is big. Yeah, yeah. yeah but, like, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you see yourself on TV, you're going to be like, that's not yeah. all that you. That's not all that yeah, you. Yeah, I mean, do, I though, look right? like fucking Tim Dillon right now. <laughs> it's, it's, that's not all that you do, like, though, right? Like not just jump rope. You do other stuff, or like prison, prison body stuff, like yeah. like push ups, like core just stuff. Like, yeah, push pull ups, calisthenics, like, calisthenics. pull up. Yeah, just calisthenics. Yeah. It's like oh, okay. diamond push ups. So but the can. diet, yeah. I like that he asked yeah. specifically about diet because that's got to be because bon me is just, relatively like you could do worse than bon me. Yeah, but but in terms of what you're eating day to day, just hella leafy greens. And yeah. that's like the that's the base that's of the, the meal. Base, What's yeah. your breakfast? Cat like? makes salads. Mm-hmm. Do you do a little yeah. oatmeal with berries for the breakfast? Or? Uh, green green smoothie in the morning. Maca. Okay. Pro- okay. Plant based protein. Matcha or maca? maca? Is that a new maca. thing? What is maca? You don't take maca? It's a root. I don't know what maca. Oh, oh maca root. Yeah, maca. Oh, okay, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, that's like uh, oh, what's the shit that makes you fuck a lot? Maca root. That's uh, maca root. Okay. Yeah, that's <laughs> maca root. I was gonna say blue chew. Yeah, blue chew. There's a. No, there's yeah. something else. It's like um, nature's Viagra. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. cool. So, but it's good. It, maca it's... and leafy greens and a smoothie for breakfast, lunch. Are we getting some protein in there? Are we doing, yeah. Are you? Do you eat chicken? Me? I be skipping meals, bro. I like. Yeah. I'll, oh, that's I'll very. Be, I be skipping meals. <laughs> I be skipping shit. Like, are you hungry though? Meal. Nah, I, I just eat when I'm when hungry. you're hungry. Right, when that's hungry. the key. You, that's I don't the key. Do the three, don't count. Yeah, I don't no, count no, no, no. Just eat when you're hungry. Yeah, and and like. By the time your stomach comes, starts to shrink, yeah, and you're able to operate off of off like of less. less, yeah, yeah. yeah. But like yeah, that he's less should be keto. better food, yeah. He's yeah. basically keto, right? I can't do yeah. keto. I don't know if I, I can't even... do it long term. I mean, I I like tried doing it right when it gets easier, you know. Yeah. I don't know if I really understand what keto is. It's just, it's not just not letting carbs. your body go into ketosis, Damn and you, you it's that just interval it. like spacing out the intervals of like when you're eating and then it's also what you're I'll say this, eating is important the biggest thing is just intermittent fasting. yeah yeah keto like is stopping is, at 7 yeah Bro, 16 8 the 6 the 16 yeah. 8 8 is like yeah. yeah you just eat within an 8 hour window and then you go oh, 16 yeah. Yeah, yeah. without yeah. so after like 8 and i'm not i'm not rigid stop. with it i go like t- at least 12 and then 12 like 12 to 16 kind of Right. And that's only because I don't like to do. You said what? Far? Can you run like hella far? He walks. I you walk. I walk. I can't. The last time I could like. He's trying to see what your fuck game is like. That's run was 2017. He's right. I was running like three miles. <laughs> yeah. Three miles uh, a day. But now I just kind of do like a fast pace. Let like, me rephrase that question. How long can you fuck? <laughs> wow. Let me rephrase that question. <laughs> How far He's can you fuck? Shouts out to all my baby girl. <laughs> I see you. I see you, and I'm creeping and I'm stalking when you least expect it. This one's for all my baby girls. I see your comments, ladies, and they make me smile. I'm lurking and I'm stalking when you least expect it. But lately, I've just been taking care of my business and getting my grind on. But I promise you, I'll be back to play and get my flirt on. If you'd like to know how long I'll be fucking for, <laughs> opencollective.com slash jadedforum. 
Platforms like YouTube, Patreon, Spotify, they're all ass. They don't respect your privacy, they're riddled with ads, and they're completely silent and unreachable when you need help. Have you ever talked to somebody at YouTube? Think about that. I sure haven't. To top it all off, we don't control them at all, despite being the reason they exist. So that's why we're partnering with a design and development agency called to build our own cooperative alternatives that bring the best features of all those platforms together and that we can control together too. We seriously got to have an exodus to some sort of digital Zion that we've built ourselves. Somewhere where all of us can actually have a say over the technology that we're using to communicate with each other. For more on how you can support us all in getting off these shitty platforms, visit opencollective.com slash digital Zion and tap in. Just because these dystopian systems are eating themselves alive doesn't mean they got to take us with them. Here's the season to get naked. <laughs> pop, 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 pop that booty. <laughs> Baby, use a freak. Yeah. <laughs> we can literally have a naked 3D version of you. You could. There's a mocap stage to our right. How, why is it getting so sexual but around booking, me right but now? That's what naked. I, we're in oh, fucking no. wild ass nature. Fucking naked, but booking naked. Four <laughs> guys, you know, who haven't fucked Who's gonna stop us out here? Asking me how long I've been you know, fucking, hundreds, imagining we might, naked. Well, I asked, how, I asked how far you can naked. fuck. Huh? How I, far I can yeah, fuck? Yeah. <laughs> how far can you fuck? You fuck from like here to over there. Girl, I'll fuck you to another galaxy. If baby. one stroke <laughs> is six inches, how far can you fuck? Like, could you, could yeah. you, could you fuck a rock up a mountain like Sisyphus? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let it roll back down. <laughs> Girl, I let you roll back down like that rock. I like that Sisyphusian rock. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a Sisyphusian fuck. I fuck like Sisyphus. They call me the Sisyphus. I almost come and then I go all the way oh, back. And yeah, I'm not that, even that, horny again. Ooh, all the way the down. Sisyphus method. I guarantee you mm -hmm. there are enough, like, Hoteps and far right, like <laughs> spiritual nerds, <laughs> that if you faked a, a sex magic method, oh, are you kidding and, me? And wrote it up and it called it the Sisyphus method of like, are you kidding oh, me? Yeah. Getting I mean, all the way to coming and then going back down over and over for something the something like this the probably entity. already exists, just not marketed to the demographics. That you know, yeah. do y'all know what like, gooning is? Have you ever heard of that? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Y'all don't know about that? I feel like I've heard Absolutely the audience not. is definitely going to know Absolutely what I feel like not. I've heard you it's say like, that. It's like jerk-off hypnosis. Think about that for a second. How Are all of Hold these up. things just edging, but just didn't it's work? Not, Gooning yeah. is like edging for like hours at a time, and, and, and there's like videos of like flashing porn shit. Like, like what's hypnosis. his name? Oh, what, like what's clockwork. his name probably does it? Um, clockwork, clockwork Edge. Clockwork From the police. What's his name? I'm going to bring Sting. 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 He probably does some shit like that. Yeah. Why? Why Sting? Because <laughs> it was like a big thing that he would fuck his his partner and him would fuck for hours. They would have hours and hours and hours long. Oh, it's not oh, like he's doing it. No, no, no. But I'm saying he like probably the, does that in the off time. Like, just. Was that like what you said? Was flashing, flashing porn? Yeah. They're, 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 you, you can go on 4chan and there will be like fucking. You will like I MK will, Ultra yourself. I will not. Dude, <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, yeah, and it'll have words on the screen and shit. Nah, that's the only reason yo, I know about that. What is what is 4chan up to right now? What is going on over there? I don't really know. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. Is it like dead? Or I go still... I go there for points. What were you talking about? You were talking there. about the cleanup team. The cleanup. Well, there's janitors on 4chan. Janitors, yeah. And if you can imagine what a janitor meaning deleting shit that's not supposed to be on there on 4chan, oh, your brain yeah. is done. Yeah. Your brain is burnt to a crisp if that's what you're doing. Are you kidding me? A human you have, is doing this? Yeah. You yeah, have, shit. I don't even, this isn't even a thing. You have, have, you have, type, two, in, you have type two PTSD. You have like type five PTSD. When I was in high school, they like, post like job postings. Like we need janitors. Yeah, it's real. You have uh, the, you have meta PTSD. I didn't know uh, that was a thing. I thought they just had figured out how to like. Moderated with bots and shit. Imagine now, comparing yeah, the brain of a drone, a drone dirty, operator Mike Mike to Mike a four chan janitor. <laughs> I'm gonna be a janitor. That on guy was janitor. super right wing. It's just all this, it's flashing no, in all sure the same places. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Wasn't Mike Rowe of Dirty Jobs like a Republican? 
Yeah, like, like that's right wing. wing. Like that's yeah. controversial. Probably, probably was right. Like, uh, you know, like Republican, right. Republican. We're like, having like three different conversations yeah, at the same yeah, time. What are y'all talking about? Jerking off? Or? No, I was yeah. saying, imagine comparing the brain of a person who operates drones to a 4chan janitor. Oh, it's the, and a, he was like, it's probably a, flashing in the it'd same. It'd be an overlap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. places. Oh, I was the PTSD you know, would, yeah, be just like a perfect thing. Right. right. You know what's crazy? One time I bought a laptop, and uh, this was when Chat Roulette was still popular. I'm already scared of what I, this nigga's about to say. <laughs> One time I bought a laptop? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I bought a lot. It, I guess it was like the display model at Walmart or some shit like that. Cause somebody had been using it. Cause I went on chat roulette and they were like, uh, you've been restricted from this website and to help, uh, to, before you can get back on, you got to help us identify a bunch of dicks on this website. You got to identify who's showing their dick. That sounds like roulette. a, that sounds like a, um, virus. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. You've got to look it was at like, a thousand pictures of dicks. It was like, you gotta, you gotta go through this. It was like a, it was like a live capture. Wow. Just of chat of roulette dick. Yeah. Wow. Yep. They have not been on chat roulette since. <laughs> wow. It's better than my job currently. I'd rather do that. Do you think y'all could pick the homies meat out? No. Nah. Absolutely. Of a lineup? Yeah. You can't even imagine what my shit looks like, dude. I could guess. <laughs> 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 I can guess. Hold on. I can guess. I guess. Like a couple of hairs. Just the confidence. <laughs> the confidence with which he said how that. Small it is, bro. <laughs> No, bro. That was like Will Ferrell energy, <laughs> like pure. You can't even imagine what my shit looks like, dude. No, bro. I bet I could guess. Uh, looks like a barber pole. <laughs> a barber a candy pole. Cane. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a candy cane. <laughs> it spins let like me guess, that. Let me guess. <laughs> Completely see through. <laughs> yeah, barber <Super>. pole. <laughs> like a deep sea creature. Yeah. A viscous yeah. liquid inside with a glitter in it. Pole. Right. Barber pole. That's, Are y'all no, internalizing what he just said? <laughs> Are you li- li- really proud yeah, of talking about uh, this? He I got a pool, man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> look at the look at the, yeah. the macro of this. <laughs> look at the bright side. It's yeah, a pool. It's a yeah. pool. Isn't that the point? I of lay the outside of barbershops like this. That should look like a sausage patty before they cut the patties up. What? You got a long thick sausage? Oh, uh, okay. I got <laughs> killed. I got killed. Masa. No, <laughs> thicker. 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 If thicker, your dick thank had you. to be and, any of these, and, and brown. If your dick it's had to not, be any of these, it's not brown. <laughs> now the barber pole. That's Chappelle describing Michael Jackson's uh, penis on the show. Oh. He's like a barber pole, uh, a couple of hairs, and some glitter. He <laughs> 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 was like, yeah. Oh, yeah, he, so was like, I, he was like, I can point out Michael oh Jackson's uh, penis. It looks like a barber pole, a couple of hairs, some glitter. And they're like, that is correct. <laughs> just ignorant, just ignorant. I live with the walls of glory. <laughs> <laughs> That's like my stem is just saying that, like, every day. Yeah. <laughs> just talking like Michael Jackson. Oh, you like man. that? Real quick. You like that smear? You like that smear? You like that smear? I said, like, it's, it's all right. right. It's I simply right. said, it's, it's all right. Okay. It's okay. Folks at home, I'm going to do something Doo-doo. here. Is it possible for us to get Peter Griffin's home to um, pop up behind me right now? Ignorant. It's, it's ignorant. It's Just ignorant. a wild idea. Doo-doo. Matter of fact, make it that home, but it's in space. There we go. There we go. Yeah, it's like yeah. I'm sitting in the yard. It's like he's oh, sitting like in the yard. Yeah, motherfuckers, we got Peter Griffin's fucking house behind us. So what the fuck? Are, yeah. Yeah, this shit fucked That's up, some right? wolf blitzer shit. Zoom out on this shit. Shit is fucked up. We got the whole space. One day I really need to work on my wolf blitzer because he every everything he says is constantly talking like this and he takes breaths <laughs> in the middle of the sentence that you never expect him to take. <laughs> Gotta work on yeah, that waterboarding. <laughs> Be <a> waterboarding. <laughs> yeah, dude. Holy shit. So how do y'all feel about this? We're this at, is nice. We're at, I, this yeah. is nice. I'd yeah. like to live in whatever world this is for yeah. for eternity. Yeah. 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 Man. yeah. yeah. If y'all could uh like spend eternity in any Blood Gulch, the Halo map. Cool. Wow. Cool. You got it. I was gonna say Rainbow Road. Damn, oh. I'm not prepared enough for this. This is a good ass question. Not, not a real I don't know how he did that. Hold I really don't know how he did that. No, 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 I am. I, I, I could say Shadow of the Colossus, like that, you, that universe. Yeah, yeah. But, but, th- I but I really want to think. I really want to. Th- <laughs> I'm wild. in between two. Rainbow Road. Rainbow Road's like I would chill there, 
but I'm taking Rainbow Road to uh, Hollow Bastion. Oh, okay. Kingdom Hearts level. Oh. Best music in any video game. To me, just personally, sure. Hollow Bastion. If anyone wants to hear more about our our thoughts on Hollow Bastion, Zeto.plus. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow! Slash combos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, not yeah, even yeah. gonna spoil it. Yeah, I funny. forgot. We, yeah, we don't. That shit has that. people crying. Like they're texting me saying they're crying, laughing at that. <laughs> I'll keep that. Archive of our conversation. I don't even remember what it was about. I just know that it was, that was about it. these men on TikTok who get conspiratorial yes! about homosexuality in the entertainment industry, and they have this Matt, music Matt playing. Hoffa? You seen oh, this guy? Yeah, yeah. The battle rapper. The battle yeah. rapper, and he has his show in the barber shop. And uh, they're all like, most of them are just like your run of the mill, like New York 5% or hip hop dudes. But there was a video of him and he's like talking about the dark side of the industry. And if I was in that video right now, like the scary music, the, the get out music. It's sli- playing, yeah, it's so like yeah. scary, like, I mean, no, th- this specific one we were talking about, it had music oh, that I think sounded. I do know this. The music sounded exactly like the Hollow like, Bastion level like, in Kingdom Hearts. I don't Hearts. understand. You start, you start getting in these conversations behind closed doors with these industry motherfuckers. They, they don't want you. They want your butt. They want your <laughs> cock, man. The devil's job is to get as many souls as possible. If you got the potential to be influential, they want you. Not because you're talent, because they can use you as a tool to push their agenda. In order for them to fully put you in position, they have to make sure that you're willing to get in position. And that position is taking dick in the ass, bro. That means playing with your butt. And the, the shit we were dying about is because his reasoning for why the industry is like gay and demonic was just them doing nice stuff for him. It's like, yes. you know, they getting you clothes. Yeah. Giving you drinks at parties. Yo, they, they tried to sit me down in a makeup chair. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck is the this fuck? shit, man? What the fuck? Like, I know what this is about. They say, you, yo, you need to use the bathroom. I say, yo, yo, yo. Is this the show where I'm there's like two rows of guys facing each other? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. yeah. Yes. I think yeah. Joe Budden was on that talking about yeah, he was. would it matter yeah. if I'm bisexual or not? <laughs> now Let everybody shit, uh... knows I go both ways and with dogs. Yeah. <laughs> everybody knows. I fuck knows. both genders of dogs. <laughs> yeah. Everybody yeah. jacks off their dogs sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Now how about it. we have a real conversation about yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Now, can we get past jerking off the dog and let's yeah. talk about doing something nice for the dog, taking him on a date? <laughs> oh, shit, it got hot out got here right in the yard. It's daytime. Now I feel like we in a Tyler Perry play. <laughs> 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 we in a Meet the Browns stage performance now. Was oh, about the fuck. Math Hoffa. Well, you were also asking the question. Uh, oh, wait, maybe we move past that. You were asking nah, video game level. Nah, well, yeah, what, what video game map? You just live in I'm there. like, my quick answer is Shadow of the Colossus, but that's just because that's my favorite game. I'll, and it, there was an escapism element to it for me. Yeah. Of just like riding the horse through, you know. I would see he likes riding horses in Shadow of the Colossus. Love horses. But not Red Dead Redemption. See, that's weird. But you ain't got to ride them for four hours to get to the. That is true. You, you see can what I'm fast saying? Travel. You got a clean and destination I, every time. And it ain't in the travel. fucking desert. I can, you can you know, fast not to say there's not beautiful Red landscape in, can in you Red Dead. Can fast travel in Red Dead? You can fast travel. Yeah, you can. That. You can also take a carriage. I didn't play it long enough. A buggy? <laughs> you can take buggy. But you didn't ask nobody. Get up carriage, there. Did you? You didn't ask nobody. Mm. I feel like uh, I would go Shadow of the Colossus, but I feel like there's no food. There's no food in there. I'm game. not getting into logistics. You need I just some food. feel like I would go Breath of the Wild. He said Rainbow Road. Road. Nah. I don't I like that as an answer. I thought that was weird too. I thought that was weird too. I'm not, I'm not doing all of that. Terrible answer. You, just, you would go in the same. in you just, Battlefront 2. Oh. Okay. Really? Not okay. most likely. The death? No. <laughs> I need that water. Playing devil's advocate here. I need that water. I need that green. I need that that nature. Yeah. 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 Yeah, to you, you me, heard, like I need that nature. I want to live in the um, like Blood Gulch, the Matrix, um, the Windows XP background, and mm. and oh. the fucking uh, the Gungan versus Droid fight from Phantom Menace. Oh my god, oh. those beautiful. Yeah, out yeah, there. I those like that. four. Okay. It was beautiful out there. Yeah, Elon, you son of a fuck. Do you ever grab my consciousness, plug it in there? You have no rights to my likeness. Yeah. I want to live there forever. 
I want the purple bubble shield technology. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, we were talking about this in the fucking... Around my dick. In the <laughs> Uber. <laughs> we were talking I want it around my dick. With Cat about how to ride a, ride a bike without, like, dying immediately. And I was saying, oh, you need, like, that Jar Jar's, the Gungan force field around the bike, mm. basically. Oh, mm-hmm. to... I thought you were talking about that. And we figured out that that's a car. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's like a motorcycle. No, I, it's too dangerous. Because I'm always, yeah, I'm always like scared of a bike. I'm like, I wish there was like an enclosed environment. No, people, rides, cyclists man. are psychotic. I'm sorry. If there's any cyclists in the room, I apologize. You're yeah. fucking psychopaths. When you said purple bubble technology, I thought you were talking about the the window screensaver that turns into the cube and then the bubbles and the the that shit used to be so satisfying. Yeah, it would like yeah, spike yeah. out from the corners and then turn yeah. into a ball. Yeah. The pipes. Remember the pipes? The pipes were crazy. That would be crazy. A dick. That's the old MacBook vibe or the Nintendo 64 see-through controller. I am so dumb. There's got to be at least three or four levels in Melee that meet the criteria. To live on? Yes. The Kirby You got to fight, though. Yes. Fountain of Dreams. You fighting every... Oh, Star Fox 64. Are you living like a character in the background or are you fighting... Because I would live in Kirby's dream world, dreamland mm-hmm. thing. Yeah. But I'm not fighting on niggas. Yeah, apples. I'm not talking about... I'm purely aesthetic. Hy- Hy- Hyrule Castle. The, or or the, the Mario one where it's like up in the sky. The one where it's I'm like, thinking of N64. The one with the ship the, where it turns into clouds and all this stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I think... Well, the one that's got like the sloped... Is that sides. Rainbow Cruise or something? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, the, the one for me is Star Fox 64 map from N64. Smash. Mm. Space. I like Super the. Smash. I'm. I'm a. I'm a not a Smash purist, but I. I like the first Smash. Wait, you, hold up. You mean like? <laughs> uh, there, because there's two Star Fox Smash, right? It's Cornera and. No, the the one on the ship. Yeah, the yeah, one that's on the Cornera. ship. Yeah. So you got a question? I want to take this somewhere else. Oh. Uh huh. Fuck the video games, man. Okay. Uh-huh. Fuck all of that out here. Uh huh. How do we make this right here that? Oh. Yeah. You. You. You get. You get me. You see what I'm saying. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> How do we make this here that? Hurt my chest a little bit. That's the type of shit I want to talk about. Fuck the digital. I love the digital too. Uh huh. Digital Zion. Uh huh. I love that. Hey, but how do we make hey, real life? But how we build a better, cooler world we would actually want to live in here right now. Let me ask you. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you I like something. that. Let me ask you something. I like that. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. X. What the fuck are you talking about? Man, I'm talking about I'm off that power pack. <laughs> I'm, off, I'm off that power pack. Hold up. Hold Did up. I tell y'all one this? more time? One That's more time? the funniest story I'm up, ever. I'm off that power pack. When I met Future, oh, I was like no. working on one of his videos. And um You mean rap Noam Chomsky? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Like that. <laughs> And uh, I got that. it was after the shoot and he was just sitting against the car or whatever. Like everyone was starting to like pack up and I just like was sitting with him and I was just like, like, how you feeling? Like, how you doing? And he leans into me and he goes, I'm up that power pack. <laughs> and like smiles. Like he's like, man, I'm did he up, say anything I'm up the pow- No, he just said, I'm off that power pack. I want left you alone. And I remember taking my phone out and Googling power pack. No, oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Vitamin C. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I knew it yeah, had something to do with weed. Like, hey. I knew it had something to do with weed, but it was so, I felt like it was so specific that but, I would hey. find something hey. on like the strain or something on a. I wish I was off I'll, the power pack. I'm off that with rumble pack. Right. I've been playing yeah. 64 a lot. I'm off that rumble pack. I'm off that rumble pack. That fucking power pack. To answer, yeah, we say we'll just say multiple things in a power pack. I don't think it's one drug. Yeah, I'm I'm up there power pack. I've heard I've heard Future actually doesn't do like pills and hardcore drugs that much. It has to be weed. It's he has admitted that it's just for show. I think Mm -hmm. back when you met him though, he probably definitely was like Mm -hmm. a little leaned up. This was like maybe uh, 2016, 15, like in that. Oh, he was top of the world. Yeah. 2015. Yeah. He had the Drake mixtape. Yeah. But no. It was hard. What that mean on that question? What that mean? Because I think about this a lot. I would even say it's like even that, what I just said is like baked into the shit we're always talking about, about imagination and like, yeah, post-capitalism and all that stuff is like a, a, a part of it. But it's like being bold enough to just 
think about the stuff that excites you or, or the stuff that makes you feel, you know, inspired and then think about how to structure your life and in in, in be in community with all of that in mind, you know? Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Are you trying to ask how do we escape no, no. this <laughs> hell? Hellscape that we're in? Uh, and the hamster wheel <laughs> that capitalism has us on? Um, <laughs> yeah, no, that's definitely a part of it. <laughs> it was really intense. <laughs> I kind of like no, it. No, but, I, I but it it's home. a part of what I'm trying to express is like that sentiment of like, why not? I start cranking one of these. <laughs> being a kid and playing Melee or watching a film or video game and being so just like, wow, this is beautiful. Wow. Like, and then there are places on Earth or the Earth is, is beautiful and, 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 and can look this way. And then thinking, why not? Like, why can't that be my reality? Mm-hmm. Why mm-hmm. not? Mm-hmm. And then it's like capitalism is just like one really, really big obstacle that I feel like if enough of us figured out, we'd be living in Rainbow Road is what I'm saying. Is For sure. We'd have yeah. our Rainbow Road. For sure. We'd have our... Whatever, and we wouldn't have to worry about paying rent. We wouldn't have to worry about. So what you're describing is world building. World building, exactly. But like not digital. Exactly. Not no. in a digital physical type of world. Way. Yeah. And I do feel my. I do kind of like when I go into this territory. I, it's frustrating because I think about like dickhead, you know, Gary V, Elon Musk, like types that you know they say shit like, oh, you know you know, f- just the same shit I always say about fuck the odds. You know, it's like, oh, just, you gotta go for it. And you gotta, you know, you gotta make what you want real and you gotta make it happen and you gotta whatever. But it's like at a collective level, that's kind of <laughs> like what has to happen. Mm-hmm. Not yeah. even just if we wanna be free, but if we fucking it, collectively as a species want to, want to continue living on this planet. Yeah, right. And I mean, you, know? you look right. at like places where a collective decided how it looked versus what these guys like Elon think. They truly think the, the, the natural progression, the way the shit gotta go, somebody gotta get a billions of dollars mm-hmm. and then make it their responsibility to then usher in right. that, that right. world. But right. you look at historically what rich niggas decide yeah. cities yeah. should look like and it's all yeah. The dumbest shit. Dubai. Yeah. yeah. Bro. Dubai. Or that new fucking wall city that they talk yeah. about. That's like, oh, we yeah. talk about the that line, all the time. The yeah. Yeah. line thing. You're like, dog, they're building. Nobody with a billion dollars should be thinking about. They're building a jail in Chinatown right now. And they're like, it's going to be the tallest jail in the world. <laughs> they're like ranking it by shit that doesn't even matter. They're for trying jails. to make the raid right. happen. To like, and then you right. critique it and they're like, so. I but mean, name, name a jail taller, though. You can't. You can't. It's like, but I don't want It's a jail scraper, though. <laughs> this is a... You've seen this another is, jail scraper this in the is, world? This is You've real, seen a jail that scraped? That's inventing, a horrifying But it's what, they, it's what they do. It's like you invent a game, and then you make yourself the best at it. Yeah. And then hundreds of people, thousands of people, millions of people will go, well, yeah. And that's what Elon does. Yeah. Invents his own game, right. wins yeah. at it, and then a bunch of kids go, yeah. And on that point and the point I'm making, like, I guess the thing I want to put out there also on the imagination tip is like around our organizational capacity to world build together collectively. It obviously requires like trust and requires like, and it's also not this one mass centralized body or movement that's going towards whatever this is. But it's like in pockets in different places, like from the bottom up, like we have the capacity collectively to come together and be like, well, this is the baseline existence we want. And this is, you know, and I feel like pointing that out because, yeah, when you're talking about world building, like money, capital, like is a part of that. It's a part of that conversation. So people are always like, where's the money? Where's the money going to come from? Which sort of like implies this top down the shit you're talking about, like some, you know, like the only way it's going to happen is by 
And there are the the angel donors and investors out there. There are going to be rich yeah. people that are going to put money up for mm -hmm. for liberatory things, but betting on that for the whole system to change is like it's su it's just suicide. It's just waiting to die essentially. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. So it's like what how can how can poor and working class people build up the capacity to come together, put their own resources together and start like Making building, more Teslas. Building pockets, you know, creating decommodified space that other people can come into and, like, build off of, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And I know I'm a broken record on this point, but it's, like, especially with artists and creatives, like, we have the biggest... I was just game. talking to, uh, to Earl about this, Earl Sweatshirt, and we were talking about how... And this is kind of even going lower than what... You were even saying, or, or kind of digging into the, yeah, the subcutaneous yeah, thing yeah, that, yeah. that is affecting, you know, the, that catalyst happening. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It, it's like the most genuine way I could put it is like a lot of niggas really think that it's cool and it's not their fault. Mm -hmm. But the, like irony has really poisoned so much shit mm -hmm. yeah. and so much like genuine curiosity, mm -hmm. even just amongst creatives and people that right. you meet like around LA or around New York, I'm sure that will like hold it back because there's that fear mm -hmm. of closeness, there's that fear of like- Vulnerability. Like, vulnerability, right. am yeah. I, are, is this corny, is this what, even not even just oh, on yeah. this, just on like pure, just collaborating, just being like, hey, like, I love you and 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 value right. you as as an artist right. and want to. People even have like trouble getting right. to that point, and I I truly do feel like the next wave, like maybe I'm imagining that, but I do think the next wave that's actually coming is like the only thing I call is like sincere wave. Sincerity, yeah, yeah. sincere. Yeah. Sincere wave is like yeah. on. Yeah. The, we're on the cusp because everybody's <clears throat> yeah. like. We're still in this little mode of like pretending, like, and going through the motions, and like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, what are you working on? Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. But then, like, the longer you talk to anybody, they're like, so we got like ten years, right, yeah. of comfortable life left on right. Earth, right? You know what I mean? And right. it's gonna right. stop right. being that that yeah. gap there. Yeah, where it'll, it'll get sincere. Yeah, genuine core. Genuine yeah. core. Where just, Whether yeah. people are ready or not. Yeah. Like, yeah. Where I, like, yeah. I just yeah. see you at the function. And I'm like, yeah, so what's the next step in what we're, in what right. we're doing so we can right. do what you're talking about instead of doing the, oh, right. we got to play this high school game of, you know, do we like each well, other? Well, the high yeah, school game right. exists because of all the, you know, scarcity thinking. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Dog, I low-key feel like high school was better than the shit we got right now. I feel like people, I feel like people like shit on high school. It was fine. It was cool <laughs> compared to I this. Just, I realized this. in like seventh or eighth grade that I'm like, oh, I just have to hang with all nerds. So I sat at the nerd table from like sixth grade to like the end of high school, mm, yeah. and it was just like the best. And I didn't have to worry about. And you watch people social climb, or people yeah. that are like nerdy, and then they social climb, and you're like, all right, good luck with that. And then they don't have any friends after high school and shit. Yeah. Is that? Do you feel yeah. like that's the biggest sort of like, at least in the conversations Hurdle. you you have with artists? Like, yeah. is that sort of the the immediate like the first sort of barrier that you you sense when you try and have conversations? Like, yeah. just this implicit, oh, you really think that? Yeah. Oh, you you're gonna do? Oh, yeah. you would really? One thousand percent. Doesn't have to be I mean, spoken. You, it's never actually you, never. It's you rarely were, you spoken. Were, like you that. were there. You watched it happen. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like 2020, like we were literally talking about all of this and it seemed like the world was, it was like right there. and for, Like shit was, all the shit yeah. was happening. Yeah. And for me, like, and especially having to like grow that fast in my politics and, and like, okay, I got to get there yeah. and, and figure out so much shit, leave so much like, liberal ideas behind, leave behind nihilism, leave mm -hmm. behind that right. insecure feeling of, is this just dumb? And get right. back to that childlike, you know, curiosity of imagination. Right. That happened so quick in 2020. And then like, I remember us and just me trying to like 
guide those conversations with other artists and just like wall after wall, mm -hmm. like wall, 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 like excuses, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yeah. and you can't blame anybody for that because yeah, it's like, course. it's where we all right. were trapped or are trapped at. Right. Yeah. Or, you know, even if you're really on some shit, like you still trapped at some level of yeah. fear. Mm -hmm. And, right. uh, and I feel like that was my biggest like disappointment in all that. So like, yeah. I felt the most over the past couple of years, like I just have to become like ultra patient yeah. with people. Cause even I see like what you're able to do and you know, and, and how many people you're able to like talk to and, and guide. And, That's and, directly related to what, not to cut you off, yeah. but what, what I wanted to say in response to that, um, because a part of my frustration, is, and we've talked about this a million times uh, in private, but like artists, some of these artists not actually recognizing their power. Yeah. It's to, okay. to your point of what you just said, it's like the things that I've been able to accomplish in terms of bringing people together, even bringing resources together, you know, like I'm not even, I'm not doing it with the same status that you you have or that some of these other artists have, or the same access, the same sway, the same pool. Some of these artists we're talking about, they wouldn't have to talk that much if they wanted to get some bread out of some people. Right. They could finesse hella bags, hella world building money, mm -hmm. just off of conversations if they really wanted to, mm -hmm. or they felt the, in, the impulse to. Yeah. But it's that, what you said, it's like you can't force an understanding, like you can't force, you can't snap your fingers and then they're all of a sudden gonna realize all the potentials and access that they have for this yeah. type of shit that we're talking about. Yeah. You know? And also it's like, I think that what I was asking people to understand in my artist community and what I felt like, you know, cause the, the weight hits you, right? Mm -hmm. When you like realize something like that, like, right. oh shit, we can just, we could just build it. You know what right. I mean? It's like a weight, but in, uh, rightfully so, you try to spread that weight out to the people right. around you because that's right. what humans do. We right. we go help. Yeah. Right. Like that's just Support. we just like, nigga help me. Right. And uh, I'm kind of losing my train of thought, but like, well, not everybody think, can. Yeah. There's different roles. Like, there's not everybody can do everything at the same time. Right. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Right. exactly. Yeah. And I think like it's a bigger ask. It's a scarier ask actually. Like, because I remember trying to like got like like coax people through the conversation of like, so you want us to like, what, do comedy and movies about <laughs> socialism? And I'm like- Oh, they, pigeon, no. they pigeonhole it to this like, yeah. Because that's what you understand Oh, as, you're trying yeah, to right. do something? That's what Structurally, doing that's different? Yeah. That's what doing something meant. They're stuck in this like, so you gotta get your message out shit and they think that's right. what it is. Yeah, yeah. Right. compartmentalizing, like them activism them and, yeah. and like I'm, it's supposed and I'm to talking be about activism. Like, no, this is material shit. It's the, the no. 10 steps away from that. Here's how it serves you. This right. is, a, this right. is the point, it's to serve you. It's not right. some fucking right. propaganda shit we're talking about. And that's a harder know? thing to ask somebody of. Yeah. Right. It's just, I feel like the 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 baseline desire we probably share is like, cause dog, this show, we're here because we at least could agree to sit and stay at the table. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. Just stay in the conversation. Like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like we at least. You're saying like, how yeah. it narrowed down a bit. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, he he knows this too. I mean, yeah. from Oh, you mean from, in terms of who we started with and Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. but multiple groups organizations that we've we've yeah. we've tried yeah. to bring people together around. <clears throat> it's like, yeah, who who stays? Why did they why did they stay? Right. How did they connect? How did they get to now this place of development that we're we're getting to? It's like, well, we at least stayed in conversation. Right. We at least stayed at the table, at least like putting an ear up to the door and being like, "Oh, I got you. I got you. I got you." Right. But when it's this thing of something fucked up, like George Floyd happens or whatever happens, and then everyone goes, okay, all right, you're good. All right. okay. mm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right, you know, right. it's like, that, that's, that can't sustain anything long. That's not gonna sustain anything. And I, right. I feel like with artists, especially the dope people that we know and, and work with or whatever, it's like, if people could stay at the table long enough, oh my yeah. God, the shit that we would, 
be able to come up with and do so fucking fast, man. Right. In media, like entertainment, the infrastructure building, everything. And I don't Are you think, kidding and me? And I don't think people realize, and and it kind of makes sense. Like, I feel like in all this shit, we catch ourselves, we probably, y'all probably catch yourselves getting mad at people for the same shit you were thinking a few years ago. <laughs> <laughs> so like, for sure. it's, it's frustrating, but like, uh, and I was, it kind of took me a while to internalize this too, but just like, just baseline the power of just like doing this as a media, uh, mm-hmm. organization. Right. It's like the self-perpetuating nature of it is like, you right. can, you can build a narrative and start like navigating that in the way that you want to, to the point where like, I mean, I've been, I've, I've had in the back of my mind, just like, I don't think stand up is going to be fun for me until people understand where I'm coming from 100%. Yeah. So it's right. to your and so, audience. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so it's just like this self-perpetuating, self-creating thing where you could just like do create a narrative around the shit that you want to make, mm-hmm. you know? That is so relevant for all of us as artists. It's it's literally I feel you articulated it better than how I've tried to describe it at a cultural level. It's like, you know, cuz I always say I don't just want to make the art I want to make and then be like, look, I did it. And look, I'm making money or something. I want there to be a subculture of people around that where I feel like everyone culturally understands it. They understand the levels, the the depth Mm -hmm. to it, you know? And it's not just my island or my my little digital peasant fiefdom or whatever the Mm -hmm. fuck you want to call it, you know? Yeah, because like with, I'm always talking about stand up, but like from a stand up perspective, it's like we have all these specials that come out that where people are like, yo, he's really saying some shit. Especially <laughs> when fucking Chappelle d- drops anything. It's like, yo, he really, he really said something. Yeah, you gotta pay really, attention. Yeah, like li- <laughs> listen up. He's, he's spitting right now. They're coming, right. <laughs> they coming for your butt. They're coming for your butt. Taking your ass. You, you being nice ass. to me? You being they nice you, to me, nigga? Ass. What the fuck you think I am? Yeah. But like, the the question that always arises for me is like, if they're really saying some shit that, that that's that important in a stand-up special, how do we apply that? Are we even trying to apply it? Like, this is probably a bad example, but like Hannah Gatsby shit was all like, I didn't even watch it, but like unpacking all this shit about stand-up and comedy and all this stuff, and it, it became like, oh, so brave to do this, but then like, what did it accomplish after that? Right. Mm-hmm. What did people actually change about how they behave beyond just like, and we okay. talked about that too, of like, yeah, like, okay, you said it. Now what? Because now if, Chappelle's on TV being like, Hannah Gadsby's not funny. Right. Cause if <laughs> if any one piece of art or if if music itself, if paintings, if sculptures or whatever had the power to truly like mobilize and, and change the world, the yeah. world would have been changed. Right. After Marvin Gaye said, what's going on? Everybody would have been like, <laughs> yeah. but, but he's right. You know what I mean? And it's like, yes, it, it's, it, it can inspire and spark that feeling in you. But unless there's something else to it that I can go, oh, wow, I can replicate how he's actually doing production and how he's, how he's built an ecosystem around his music, like Zia is saying, right. like, wow, look at how people, you know, eat or support themselves off of the art and our yeah. building community, then that's, I think, the next level of like being, yes. inspi- being yeah. inspired by how an artist that you love is organized with other artists that you love and how they've built their yeah. ranks together and, right. and support each other. Because right now, success to even my fans, your fans, your fans, your fans, looks yeah. individual. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. 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 You know, I'm sorry. It's just wild. I'm thinking about somebody listening to what's going on and just dumping a bunch of plastic directly into the ocean. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just like feed a Fisher Price play place to a whale. <laughs> like, You're right. What the fuck is going on? What is huh? going on? Another yeah. through line on what y'all are saying that I feel is, and what's special about what we're doing and the position we're in as artists and creatives is like, when you think about it, art, whether it's music or film or, or you know, television, it's just a more layered way of communicating. It's another form of communication. Yeah. This space that we're opening up with Jaded Form is, it's recorded conversations and communication around you know, specific things that interest us. Yeah. But it's where that 
communication connects with like the production and the right. you know the distribution the, the practice you know as some people might call it um like that's where something special i feel like can start to emerge you know and like the other thing i want to say is cuz some people can can hear you say like oh like what now or all of us saying what now you know like oh you you pointed out something you know that the world is burning and that mm -hmm. things are are fucked up well you know good good for you like what what now you're saying we got to do something okay what you know and this is related to the compartmentalizing thing too of like when artists say when they hear you're you're doing something off script or coloring outside of the lines they go they're going activist activism mm -hmm. oh it's a good thing you're doing man it's a good it's like that switch yeah. switch happens they're you're, already turning you out they're right just, right but right. it's like yeah. glaze over what if what if coloring outside of the lines or going off script is about you and a part of it is like i feel like we have to get shit cooking and like popping and living better lives without bosses without landlords making better shit mm -hmm. and then people are going to want to they're going to want to figure out how did you how did you do that mm -hmm. right this is the so, this is the socialism thing right and they're, we're like i mean not i mean sure sure but like yeah. that's whatever not the fuck you want to call it yeah right. yeah we're just trying to get free it's just better right yeah. we're trying to get free and like live better lives now too at the same time and like there is actually like a way for you to tap into that for you to plug into that yeah yeah like there's actually a path for everyone to start plugging into that right and it like it self perpetuates it like keeps reinforcing itself right yeah right if i'm making money if i get a bag off of a creative project that just so happened to pop but i don't have to worry about rent or a property or whatever I, like i'm i was already comfortable i was already didn't have to worry about my living circumstance i can take some of that bread and just buy more mm -hmm. open up more decommodified space and land around me yeah, right. tell I think, someone, yo, you want to do, you could do an artist residency, or you could just live here for the rest of your life and then cre and continue to create. And After I, I get like, to know who you are, and we yeah, build right. trust, and we build, you know. Right. And I think part of that, the fear too, there is like people, and because of how like condition, condition, and just yeah. like how smart this machine is, that yeah. it can metabolize anything you really throw at it, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. They've yeah. seen so much fail and so much get eaten up and put back. You know, there's Martin Luther King quotes on Ford commercials now. So it's mm -hmm. like, mm. it makes you go, all these niggas do is lose. Or all that does is lose. Or all right. trying does mm -hmm. is right. get you this and da 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 And, and then it, the, I feel like that fear makes you go, yes, because, I don't think anybody disagrees when when, right. we, when I talk to them. They all yeah. agree, but they go, yes, but it is easier to be validated by this flawed machine right now than what they think in their minds is jumping off the ship. You yeah. know what I mean? Like it's yeah. like right. to a lot of niggas, it's like you asking me to jump off of the the tree. Yeah. When the fruit off the tree is the thing sustaining me. And it's like, no. We could just start planting. Well, yeah, like, just, thing, you know? just start thing. planting this, planting the seeds. We've been give a little shit, bit to the right. other thing. I have had right. a corporate job the whole time. We've right. Been all this shit. Yeah. yeah. Right. We are. That's what this is. That's tied to my. It's like there's. I was gonna say it's a shame, but it's like there's there's class levels to this conversation too, because yeah. it's like. Yeah, if like you are being validated and scammed and getting hella money from some of these institutions. You want you are you gonna want to do more work? Are you gonna want to struggle or inconvenience yourself? Right. Or is it easier to just sit on the sidelines and just maybe wait and see if someone? So it's, I was gonna say a part of it is also like knowing your audience, like knowing who you're really talking to, like knowing who you're really trying to prioritize or reach out into that conversation. And the right. unspoken thing I feel like from our side is there are genius, genius creatives and technologists, coders, game developers, that they're like, they're, they're in the machine and they don't want to be there and they're not getting the opportunities. They're not getting the shot. That's right. who I feel like our target 
it's not going to be the people that are are being like, you know, the the system is you know stroking them off Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, all day long. It's going to be the people that are like, I'm a million times more brilliant than this person that's, you know, paying my bills right now. Mm -hmm, You know, Mm -hmm, right. Sam is one of these people. He's uh, controlling the camera. To me, he's one of one of these people. I was talking to Sam the (laughs) other day, and I was just like, how. You know, the instinct was like wanting to know how to make it easier for someone like fucking him to just seamlessly weave into what we're, you know, what we're trying to build out. But there's so many of these people. And I feel like they're also the people that are going to make the best art, the better art, the next level shit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Is what I'm saying like making sense? It's like, it's like, yeah, there's, there's so many talented and brilliant creatives and, and people in all these different mediums out here who all they need is a fucking they just need a baseline level of support and they need a channel to be to be seen through they need equipment to create with and they can take that and they'll transform art with it yeah they'll change everything with it they're just yeah. they're not getting there's a lot of creatives chance. that like are brilliant but they don't possess like it's like the graver point like they just don't possess like a you know, like a bloodlustful ambition to be on top. They just, they don't have... Cause oh, I that feel too. Like, that too, yeah. I feel like there's a certain degree of uh, game playing you have to be proficient at mm-hmm. to, mm-hmm. to make it... That's a uh, skill. Those are yeah. skills. Lock, those are but, skills yeah. in and of themselves. Right. Yeah. And yeah. it's like, that's not always going to overlap brilliant art and yeah, Bro. Po- basically social politics. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm running into right now is like, how many fucking ways can we say the same fucking shit <laughs> before people like internalize your that your your life sucks your mm-hmm. life's chasing this shit sucks i just came from another uh, from a tv thing before this and it's the just the feeling of hamster wheel can we get a hamster Dude. wheel <laughs> this it's is like a hamster wheel. A, this is a, this is part of what we're talking about it's like it's you're on a like, hamster wheel right it's like it's thing after thing after thing. It's all just resume builders for the rest of your life. It's like you're paying it. It's like you're paying rent into your your career. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's like the concept of your career is your landlord, and you're just mm-hmm. feeding clout into that that never actually gets you anywhere. This you don't you. own this shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's people that don't own their own fucking likeness, their face. So you can't just you can't be seen in public. You, you get sued for being seen in fucking public. Yeah. On camera, like it's Bruce weird Willis shit. Bruce Willis sold his likeness it's to an AI company. Weird shit, you know what I'm saying? There are people that don't own the the rights to shit that they've made. Everything is a commodity. Everything is a product, Take and that. you just like I don't understand how people look at the way shit is set up right now and don't at least think there's something we can do beyond just oh I start my label now and right. I run it. Or you know I might work my way to the top of the corporate hierarchy, hopefully, maybe, if I'm lucky. Right. It's like, on the most basic level, like, you, you're you on TV. I've been on TV. It's like... Shit, I've been on look, TV. You've been on... Like, yeah. you've been in a movie, in a fucking movie. But it's like... Just on... Well, <laughs> no, but... Well, <laughs> have I? The thing you shot, was that not a few? No, was that, that, was a, movie? that was an indie pilot. But oh, it was a pilot. Okay. That was a movie. Okay. Yeah, well, it it's moved. still a production. It, was a it, zoovy, it fucking moved. It's still a production. It was a bunch of pictures moving. It was. Uh, <laughs> and money and people it was organized. A, it was a movie and... in the way people said in the 30s. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, it, but no, like, it's like just being in that position, just being like mm-hmm. talent in whatever. And I feel like people get weird when you act like, uh, like being a performer is some type of oppressed position. It's not, but there are dehumanizing things about it. It's like being on set, feeling like I couldn't do the, ma- the most basic shit of just like see somebody struggling and help them out with th- to do their job. It's like you, mm, they kind of break union you rules. down. I, 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 uh, there's a guy <laughs> to tie your shoes. There's a guy for that. No, 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 no. Hold up, hold up. There's a, no. If the camera guy ties his shoes, he's fucking fired. I've talked to him about like, it, you, but I'm getting my first. Are you jerking off first... on set right now? There is a guy who can. There's a guy. Who, there is a guy who will jerk you off. He's union. Come I'll on. Yeah. We can talk about it off camera, but I'm like getting my first taste. I think I've talked with y'all about that. Like yeah. my first taste of that because of this the delegating. Yeah, because yeah. of yeah. this this project that I'm working on, and it's it's yeah. just so deeply ingrained. Yeah, you know? there's so much shit. It's just like people act like you can't you can't legally have input on certain processes 
just because you have this position in uh, whatever. And it's like, it's literally that fucking, it's some like marks and shit where you, it's like, you can't make a whole shoe. You got to make the fucking sole. Somebody else makes the, the tip of the laces. Somebody else makes the fucking, the, right. the, the, the top part. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the top part of the shoe is called. That's most I think of it's the called shoe. the top part. Get rid, the 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 top part. <laughs> get rid of the hamster wheel. Somebody Look. get rid of the hamster wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Hamster. Yeah. It's like that feeling of not being able to be involved in the entire process when what you're making is well, like for for all intents and purposes, all TV, all film program, it's propaganda in some way. It depends. It just it's just a matter of what is trying to sell you. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Right. It's like right. what it's like what version of the world is it trying to is it trying to portray to you and trying to sell you? And why? Yeah. 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 Thank exactly. you for thank you for saying that. Yeah, because I I, just, I threw out propaganda earlier, but like in the context of artists feeling like they got to make their art, their art is already political, yeah. which is an important right. point that you're making. We were but also they, on silly time earlier, so I don't right, know right, right. if it came through. Right, right. But like but, thinking that they got to brand their art as like socialist that's or yeah. leftist what was, or whatever. Yeah. What it's like, do you realize earlier, if like, you go on Jimmy Kimmel, you go on when John, you know, the propaganda. Daily Show, you realize that they're, that those, they have a political agenda on yeah. all of these things, but you don't yeah. have a problem stepping into their, their right. world for right. some reason. Yeah. Why is that? Right. Why is that? And it's, right. it comes back to what I said before. There's already access. There's already, they know I'm promoting myself. I'm getting seen by whatever, whatever. It's a power thing. If we build up power connected to the social values that we're talking about here, then for yeah. some people, the quote unquote political and social is going to be secondary. I think show right. it. You have, to, you have to actively like show people the, mm -hmm. the thing that's antithetical to what you're talking about. Right. That they yeah. participate in every single day. Right. And that they get incentivized to, to participate in. It's, it's like, yes. Even if you go on, if you're on Fallon playing the put your hand in the in the tank yeah. and feel the thing, yeah. like yeah. whatever it is. Hillary Clinton's on the next week. Like right. Yeah. yeah. And the way that Fallon is organized, who pays for it, who gets to control right. the messaging, all of that is a thing. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. you can yeah. just you and there's nothing uh explicitly said ever. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Because the other team, quote unquote, you know, authoritarian shit, you know, hierarchical shit. They're very good at just never, they don't say, right. Yeah. They don't brand themselves as, as right. anything. They lean anything. into what has been assumed for hundreds of years. They're just dangling yeah. the toilet yeah. at you like, right. look, 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 look. Right. Don't right. look at how this is going on back Yeah, here. and bro, that's low key, that, that like ties back to shit you said about Kanye. It's like, they just don't, they're not used to having to face somebody explicitly saying the shit that they believe. Right. You know? They're like, oh, and they're just like, shit. no, 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 no. Yeah, no, this, like if somebody, this all works because we don't say it. Right. Out loud. Uh, imagine if fucking oh, Bill Hader went on, imagine if Bill Hader went on Fallon and was just like, yeah, I support uh, just constant expansion, uh, just just endless expan corporate right. expansion, and, uh, and no, and, you know, uh, no benefits for lower, for working class people. Yeah, I, I believe in all of those things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's what Barry is about, actually. That's what. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Can Bear, I just Barry, he's a he's a struggling actor. He has no help. If in he terms. just went and and he's a bad person. They just person. told you little, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And he's lazy. I yeah. do I do want to underscore in the like I'm doing this for the first time, just trying to like break it down in a simple and accessible way. But I like I wanna underscore like a part of what I feel like has to separate the type of shit we're trying to build and what we're talking about from what currently exists is around this hamster wheel thing and getting people to fully understand and internalize the levels of that shit. And what I mean by that is in the collective ways of quote unquote building, like on our side, I feel like resources have to be used to literally just ensure that the, the, the people doing the labor literally don't have to live under scarcity anymore. Mm -hmm. It's like, imagine if Google and Apple, they're all fucked up and they shouldn't exist, but let's, hypothetically speaking here, just the sheer power and resources they have. Imagine if they a, a part of their resources were allotted to just giving housing and whatever to all of their staff, all of the people working, all the way down the production and distribution line. I mean, there's that much capital and resources. It wouldn't even make a dent. Yeah, it wouldn't yeah, make company, a fucking yeah. dent. 
you know? Um, but then like, there, I mean, there's, there's layers and levels to it. Like the next, the next deep layer is like recalibrating thinking around property. You know, it's like, right. well, if you do get a place to live and whatever through an institutional organization like this, well, it's not to be bought and sold, it's to be used. It's being yeah. constructed for you to use for as long as you need to use it. But if you're not using it, you can't sell it. You can't rent, you know, have, you know, have people renting out of it to make passive income off of it. It's to be used. Mm -hmm. right. And imagine if all those resources that these firms are generating and they could be cooperative ones and they could be ecologically sustainable ones and they could be actually democratic ones, right? But they're generating all of these resources. They're able to, you know, open up decommodified property and space and yada, yada, yada. And it's coming, it's bottom up. It's like, it's the same cultural laborers that, laborers that are producing this wealth, but they're able to use it in this sort of way. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the shit to me that, cause it's like, I, I don't want to rent anymore. I don't want to rent anymore. I don't want to have to even think about where I'm going to fucking live. Mm -hmm. I'm tired. I'm done. I'm done with that. And I don't want to have a boss like mm -hmm. ever again. I don't want to have someone over me. So it's yeah. like my part of my thinking is because it's, it's what we, we always say. It's like, no, make it about you, too. It's not fucking active, some activism shit where it's all right, just you're, you're, helping you're a priest. More. Right. You know, you're 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 a fucking Mother Teresa or some you're shit. You're stepping it's down. Like, no, right. no, Nigga, love, no. Love yourself. Yes. <laughs> I first and foremost. Tap back in with that little kid. Yeah. That little yes. pure ass kid when you was when you was five six and you'd be like why do they get to tell me yeah. you know what I mean or that that negative feeling that you had that felt very purely not just negative oh. because you were being a brat but negative mm -hmm. because you had a feeling like the world was unfair, something wrong yeah. and unfair for a, a bad reason not a child issue a bad reason you know right you have to tap back in. and that comes back to what I was saying in the first place it's like all of this shit is so crazy anti-human. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it trains you to be anti-human. It trains right. you to believe, to, truly, to think in that way. To yeah. truly believe and think, I'm walking around LA, man, I can't trust none of these niggas, man. Yeah. I can't, I can't fuck with nobody. Right. Yeah. No, ain't nobody going to fuck with that shit. They don't want to, you know what I mean? Like, that's the voice. Yeah. Constantly in the back of your, fuck, 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 fuck yeah. humans. You know what I mean? Fuck all, fuck people, fuck doing things for, People are with people like you know what's funny is like that voice is not even that strong because nobody people don't have evidence <laughs> yeah. to back it up like that you know what's you know what tripped it's me just out? a lazy instinct yeah right. you know you know what tripped me out i was talking to my cousin the other the other month and he uh my nigerian cousin and everybody and everybody on my nigerian side of the family they all have this instinct of like you can't trust anybody Mm -hmm. You can't trust any of these people. People are like, uh, people are selfish, uh, like violent, all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And my cousin said that. And I knew just the way, just from the second he said it, I was like, you don't really believe that. And I was like, you know, people aren't really like selfish like that. And instead of pushing back and arguing with me, he goes, really? <laughs> right, 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 right. Like seriously? he had never even investigated. Like he never the considered thought, the possibility that, that they that were would be right. I can show and like that sounds like I'm exaggerating. I can show you the screenshot where he was like, "Oh, for real?" It's just the first idea. Yeah, that you're it's the first handed, thing people tell and you. You kind of go, "Huh?" Yeah. Right. It's like, well, that doesn't work because people are selfish. It's like, no, the reality is, people lied to you about what the fuck they were doing, and you thought, you thought what they were doing is what you were talking about, which is I'm talking about socialism, I guess. It's like. Somebody said they were doing socialism and it was just up to, to one guy who that dude might have been selfish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he fucked it up for everybody. He fucked up the narrative for a hundred. I'll just say it's Lenin. <laughs> mm -hmm. Stop fucking around. <laughs> but like fucked up the narrative for the next hundred some years. Forever, probably. Forever. Yeah. So yeah. We, to the point where we can't even use the word anymore and be honest about what the fuck we're doing. It's a beautiful people thing. People automatically think, oh, no, that's not going to work. Cause this the beautiful thing is... It's and I know we're on the same page about this too. It's like, fuck the isms. It was always deeper than the isms anyways. Right. It's social relations, it's organization. Yeah. You and know? to be clear, it, ex it existed yeah. before, before the word ever existed. Capitalism, so like, like yeah. authoritarianism, domination is, has been here since the beginning. Yeah. And that's at the root of the capitalism problem. You know, so it's like, yeah. it, not even wedded to the ism, you know, terminology yeah. or whatever. But what you're saying also 
but actually what both of y'all are saying reminds me of this other point that I feel like gets lost in these conversations is like, let's stop fucking generalizing. Like when we're talking about people, like humans are everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're fucking selfish. We're the most giving, dumb. loving. We're the most nurturing. We're dumb as fuck. Intelligent. We're, we're smart we, as fuck. We're geniuses. We are everything. Short as It's hell. just when we're talking about this. All as fuck. When we're talking about this. Lost our family. It's just a question. They call me stupid. It's just a question of what do we want? What are we trying to lean into? What tendencies are we trying to lean into? Yeah. What instincts are we trying to lean into? Yeah, what would we and, prefer to be? Right. Mm -hmm. and, and What to, can we encourage in each other? And to be concrete like in terms of the implications or, or where we go from that part of the conversation for me is, yo, like when we're talking about quote unquote organizing or, or quote unquote like doing stuff with people, like you're not fucking, you don't just do it with anybody. Like right. when we're talking about these, you know, cooperative labor and we're talking about decom decommodified land and space, implicit in all of that is fucking trust. Right, right. It's right. cultural connection it's vulnerability, it's love, it's all these different things. And yeah, that's fucking hard to find and cultivate. It takes a lot of work and commitment, but we got it, we can do it. Right. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's already in us. Yeah. We wouldn't be here existing, living, if it wasn't in us yeah. as human beings. I mean, there's like, a, there's, there's, like a, there's like a low vibrational, like non-emotionally yeah. granular way to feel about everything and there's right. a pro-human right i love myself and i love other people right i'm gonna try to vibrate a little bit higher with that emotion that i feel right and in that case the low emotion is distrust right just general right. sweeping distrust right. right it could be discretion right and discernment, right which is like that comes from here that comes right. from like discernment comes from like here when you discerning a motherfucker like right it, it's not that i don't trust them right i just want to know let me just see let me just see right um, let me actually see because distrust means i'm not even gonna give you a, shutting it down i'm shutting i'm I've shutting been, you down i've been side on y'all from day one so <laughs> <laughs> the random thought i keep having is like i feel like i've in the last couple of years um i think i mentioned on the last episode how i like feel like i'm like my eyes are like pressed against the glass because I'm so online. I look at so many apps so often because I'm like slightly addicted to it, but I also like can't look away. I think the reason I'm able to tolerate that because I know f friends of mine, they're like, I'm deleting Twitter this week. I can't do it. People are pissing me off too much. I feel like I've practiced like good faith so hard in literally mm, everybody that yes. I can see the dumbest shit online and still like this is just a human being. I totally get why they're saying this. Mm -hmm, yeah. Doesn't matter how fucking dumb, how decrepit and, and it I, is. And right? I love that yeah. about you so much because good good faith isn't being naive either. Mm. It's literally tied to what Zach was just saying about, yeah. uh, did you say discernment? Yeah. It's like, until proven otherwise, I'm literally just extending the hand right. mm -hmm. until you try and cut my hand off or you you, you sh right. show yourself to be whatever. And that's like a really powerful thing. It's literally tied to what you were talking about with trying to have these conversations with certain artists and the the, the irony thing too, you know? Mm -hmm. Even though I do yeah. think it's more of a, a status and like class sure. thing with, with some people. Sure. But like, no, but there is that element of like, you want me to to step into a room with other people and- And you're like this? Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> right. And they're like, and then you kind of see them go, I mean, I, I guess like, I guess that'd be, that could be cool. Right. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Like right. they got to let down so many layers of coolness and. Every cool person I've ever met, they've had a little moment of weakness where you can. <laughs> <laughs> I've met so many people that are like Kaufman level in the bit cool. Yeah. But then they'll still do shit that like fucks up their lives and they're like, why am I like this? I'm like, I don't right. fucking know. Right. You know, like <laughs> my brother didn't talk to me. <laughs> right, right. Like, you're like, really? You're gonna swag your way through this one? No, right. but, no, but like, you think I should call him? Or like, <laughs> right. should I make the first move or <laughs> right. should I be waiting on him? Like, what's what's the deal? Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 I, I, mean, I feel like that's the first. Yeah. I do I do feel like a part of what we can do as artists and creatives 
is, is at the, obviously at the cultural level. It's like, if there can be space and conversations and events and art that makes that shit normal, not just okay, but it is normal over here and people yeah. are benefiting from it actively over here, materially benefiting from it, not just socially and emotionally, but oh, that nigga doesn't pay rent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All of them, that production company, like none of them, they all just, they all just vibe. Man. They vibe. Yeah. They, all, they all just vibe and like, and he's like, what do you mean? What do you mean? Like who's like, who's funding it? Like who's bank, like who's, who's the like VC? You know? Who's the ultimate? Oh no, no, it's literally just all them. them. It's just yeah. all them. Yeah. Like the more those conversations start happening over and over and over yeah. and over again. And then you go, well, then it, <laughs> then the fun, that's like when right. the fun starts. Right. Because then you start to see in real time, the same phenomenon happening that happened to everybody sitting up here with the way that things currently run. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. You go, you're looking at something and going, I guess that's the way it's supposed to be done. Mm -hmm. Shit, let me yeah. get the fucking work right. on my individual journey, career, whatever. Right. Let me get to work, not trusting these niggas. Let me get to work <laughs> right. stacking this bread. You know what I mean? And once people see what you're talking about, that world building in real time, they go, oh shit, we got to get it. I guess I gotta get my shit oh. together because that's what's normal, bro. And that feels better than that other thing. So I want to. It's do... FOMO too. Like people will yeah, immediately that's, start feeling. Yeah. Yeah. We were that's just talking. This works. is what we were talking about last night, and I just explained it to you before we started recording. We were talking about basically rich niggas that are at the same intersections as us in terms of like art and uh, entertainment and culture or whatever, who just have fucked up values and are greedy and selfish or whatever, but to be making dope stuff in a non-exploitative way and there's infrastructure uh, infrastructure around it, decommodified, all of this stuff blossoming, and it starts resonating with lots of people, some of those motherfuckers are gonna, they're gonna want a fucking piece of that. Some of them yeah. are gonna want a piece because they wanna make money, but some of them might want a piece because they go, whoa, there's a lot of humanization, yeah, radical humanization going on over here. Right. Like even that, even for someone like me who has wealth and power, however I got it, or whatever. But if I'm, if there's a way, way for me to live differently with people and stop hurting people, stop exploiting people, use the resources I do have to be a part of this dope ass shit. Fuck oh. it. Like it's like they'll want, they'll want to be I a part. I want to see the day people start coming in disingenuous and then just don't just <laughs> and can't then they leave. Have to be sincere. Yeah. <laughs> like things that would like get get kidnapped by, by indigenous people and then wouldn't want to leave. <laughs> right. Like, damn. I was going to kill y'all niggas, but y'all cool. <laughs> right. Yeah. In, in, I mean, in a way, yeah. 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 You know what? <laughs> Other <laughs> thing, like, thinking in the mind. Like, I was going to exploit y'all niggas. The, the gonna, mind right. of, like, uh, I fought with y'all, bro. Like, a corporate <laughs> marketing person or just, like, just think of the most, like, disgusting, like, honestly, like, the person we were talking about. You know, just, like, think about, like, a person who's, like, the most, like, you know, reptilian, exploitative exploitative yeah. person yeah. and it's like the thing that's going to attract those people even though there's going to be they're going to not they're not going to have control over it right is going to watching human beings open up and give themselves to something right that they can't do with marketing advertising right. lifestyle you can't buy it right you can't buy it, can't buy it. Right. and you can't even influence it they're going to be right. so attracted like because let's be real all advertising all that shit all the system is is how can I get your soul like as quickly as possible? Right. And it's not and just it's like, how so can I make you soulless? It's like, how can I, how can I literally put money, which is a proxy of your life hours into what I have to sell so that right. I can get more. Can I what, it's an exchange yeah. of souls. Yeah. It's an exchange right. of life that's happening. Right. Can I colonize yeah. your, your fucking right. soul a little bit? Right. Just a little, that little corner right there. Right. That's some space. And it's all design. It's like that Chomsky, Chomsky said, I think, uh, it's like, it's all just designed to make, to make you make uninformed decisions. Whereas mm -hmm. like this type of shit we're talking about, it's like, it requires us to be completely honest about what the fuck is going on. And there's a right. level of transparency right. that just doesn't go on, you know, like down to the most granular shit, like being in entertainment, it's like, there's shit about my own life that I don't fucking know what is going on. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. There's people emailing shit back and forth about me that I never get to see if it doesn't materialize. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm, and I don't want to live that type of life. I, if I'm, 
if I'm never going to work the rest of my life, if my shit falls flat, I would like to know that and have it be my fault. Right. right you know what I'm right. saying? I would much rather know like, oh, shit, I guess I fucked up. I shouldn't have slapped that nigga at the Oscars. Uh, <laughs> but if you have community and you have decommodified space and people you trust around you, there's no hamster wheel. Yeah. You don't fall. Yeah. That just does not happen. Right. It doesn't happen. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's where it all comes full, comes full circle. It's not just starting a cooperative thing so that all of us can actually be our own bosses or whatever to, in the sense of, you know, well, now we all have to make money in perpetuity. Get out there and but exploit at, yourself. But at like, least wait. there's not the social domination, you know, element. It's like, no, it's the next level. Right. It's the final level. It's I am in a space with people where we're fucking good. Mm -hmm. If the business fucking flopped, yeah, we'd have to worry about food and maybe utilities, but we got enough self-sustaining energy and infrastructure and we know how to farm and whatever to where we are good for the rest of our lives. Yeah, right. life that was already life done. Good, that was already taken care of. Mm -hmm. I, I also, but with creatives though, it's an, endless, it's an endless well of what we can produce right. that can generate revenue and wealth. That's the beautiful it's thing all about our that. talent yeah. and our skills. Yeah. Like life is good, nigga. Is <laughs> life good or could life be good? You know what I'm saying? I'm up there, I'm in this I'm smoking so, 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 my job. I'm so, smoking this power. The thing power too is like power. just speaking about like just general power, power dynamics, power like, power like power politics. Power. Like <laughs> I've had like <laughs> enough power jobs power. in like the corporate sales world to like watch grown men play politics at work, and it is so much more often embarrassing and infantilizing than it is like this badass like yeah mad that's men right. ass shit yeah, yeah right, it's right. not like i'm watching grown men like be afraid of grown men that are like five years younger than them just because they're in a higher position and like you can just tell every single fucking thing they're saying to you in private or public is completely calculated and fake yeah and it's like you're trapped in that show. Bro, it's mm. the succession shit, bro. It's like, mm -hmm. I don't know if you've seen much of that show, but oh, it's I've like seen all of it. It's every, my favorite show. Every second, what's his name, Kendall, uh, is on screen. He yeah. looks like a fucking little boy. Uh, He's yeah, like, cooperatives, oh. I don't like, think they're gonna fucking work. Yeah, I don't, I just, I just don't see, I, I, don't, I just don't think that you could uh, run this company. Yeah, you I don't think stare. it's good optics, dad. I don't yeah, think. Yeah, I don't, I just don't think now is the time. I don't think now is the time for so, and I don't want to be broke. So, <laughs> I'm not gonna name names, but like, we know artists who they're famous. They they tour. They have like sizable followings, and we know what their life is when the tour is over, when the album uh, is out. Oh, it's a drought. No, we like know how they're actually living. You know what I mean, and. I just think about those kinds of artists, especially ones that are brilliant and talented. And if they did have the right channels and the right infrastructure, their, their creations would generate, like pe lots of people would be into it. Lots of people would pay to experience it. And like, think about the power in being able to have decommodified space, production facilities. Mm -hmm. I guess it's not entirely decommodified if you're using it to generate revenue, but you get what I'm saying. It's, mm -hmm. it's not uh, a ca capital, the end isn't capital, it's social, social Which ends. Which we use for both. Right. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to generate revenue to exist. Right, exactly, yeah. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. And, and how, but how in opening up that kind of space and bringing those kinds of artists in, it just creates this, it's like an endless well of potential creatively, culturally, and then even from the money side of it. You know, it's yeah. like, well, you can at least keep creating. You can at least keep, you know, doing this. And then we have our own distribution infrastructure. We have our own technology. We have our own channels. And we look out for each other and we support each other at that level too, socially and culturally. Right. It's so crazy that even at the highest level, like Twitch streamers, YouTubers, they're so, it's, for lack of a better word, completely cucked by YouTube and Twitch, they're just completely at YouTube the... and Twitch are like, stay in your, stay in your cage. Mm -hmm. Dude, Get back in there. And it'll be multi-millionaires. You know? Yeah, but Tens you're, of stay in your cage. Yeah. 
Get in your cage. Like, how do you, how do you not be like, I'm gonna pay a guy to make a website and just <laughs> right. and not yeah. do this not thing. even once. Right. You have tens of <laughs> millions. You have a, a mansion. And here's the thing right. that's crazy. It's you like you don't think people will migrate over. Yeah. Even you doing that, it's like it doesn't even have to just be you. There's other people you can right. work with. There's other money you can use. There are right. 80 millionaires. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in your specific. There's only 80. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> small yeah. thinking, as corny as that sounds, but just thinking oh, that's so real. fucking small. Yeah, but yeah. I think we talked about we talk about this. We've been talking about it a lot. In the, it just, yeah. but like it just comes back to that, like, yeah, like niggas don't believe in themselves like, or in, in themselves, themselves yeah. in their imagination. Whatever. I remember when imagination. Yeah. When the whole like NBA. Yeah, that shit was I always hear about that. And no. multiple players, I think maybe Kyrie was in the conversation. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure yeah. who it was. Yeah. I don't watch sports. Yeah, but I do remember like seeing like that they was the were playoff gonna... teams. They were in the playoffs. The yeah. teams were like, we're not playing the playoffs, the... and, the... and they we, panicked. We want to the... go make our own the Bucks thing. I think. Right. And people were like, it was you Kyrie, yeah. dumb motherfuckers. You can't make your own. Bet. And I'm like, what are you talking like, about? They could do that I like, had tomorrow. Not. I was having... Ice I had, Cube has a fucking basketball league. Come like, on, what dog. the fuck? I had a oh, meeting right. Big three. with yeah. someone who, basically a coach, again, I'm not going to name names, but someone you know who worked in the, in the NBA, in the league, well-known shooting coach. And we had lunch and like talking about the shit we're talking about, but in the context of um, basketball. Yeah. At Lethal Shooter, huh? On Instagram, <laughs> what? <laughs> JD, <laughs> is it is it Lethal Shooter is the Instagram account? <laughs> but um, yeah, like we were we were talking, and he was just telling me his point from his side was like, unfortunately, like he was and he wasn't shooting me down or something, but he was just he was just emphasizing like, I don't think you realize like how bad we got it in our yeah. thinking. Like oh, I don't, yeah. I don't think you realize how small the thinking is with some of these these people oh, in yeah. here. Yeah, he's like, it is bad. It is right. people are running in the polar opposite direction of what you're gesturing towards. Yeah. They're not just standing there; they are actively like, like slave mentality about yeah. it. You know, yeah, like not just you know on the surface it can look like man, there's these few players that are being courageous and. And whatever, and and maybe a lot of the other ones are really sitting on the fence. It's like no, even some of the ones that are like, maybe they followed in with the the the, the demonstration or the performance. It was a performance for them. Like yeah. they're really just like, all right, let's, when is this going to be over? I mean, bro, like when can I can, when can we get back to the system? Because I'm I need I need this yeah, money I, right now. Yeah. I would, you know? I wanted to get into this when we talked about the World Cup, but my brain was a little fried. But like, I just I really feel like sports is probably the the one of one of if not the biggest drivers of just like status quo mentality because it's like mm -hmm. it keeps us just like celebrating all the same shit it doesn't it's have like, to be obviously well yeah. it doesn't have to yeah. be but the way i mean the way it's organized right now right now that's like, the way it works oh, that, yeah. if we're on the hamster wheel that's a little feeding tube of water <laughs> yeah for sure. exactly that runs out we're <laughs> not fun. to interrupt yeah, yeah well because it's like we got if you think just just say the olympics every uh every four years comes around and gets us back, like jolts us right back into this, like, oh, I'll be nationalist for a summer. Right. And then you got Summer <laughs> Olympics, you got Feels good. Winter Olympics, <laughs> then you got the World Cup, then you got the Women's World Cup, then you got uh all these other all these other tournaments. Like there's a fucking there's a World Cup for every age bracket, every division. There's U 16, 17, 19, 21. It's like every four years there's something to jolt us back into this into this mentality. Mm -hmm. Uh, where we just like let it go for a couple, for a few weeks. And then on top of that, it's like the, in, the way it entrenches us in gender dynamics where like we, we have to keep shit fair in women's sports. So we have to uh, make sure that women are a definable class that we just, right. we just coincidentally will exploit once this tournament is over and during the tournament, if you look at what they're actually paid. Um, it's just like, it's all, it, it's the most and least like, like if you're really looking at it, it's so not covert, but if for people that are just like not paying attention, it's just like, it's like, yeah, I'm just watching basketball. What's, what's the difference? But like the reality is like, 
I don't know how sports could necessarily be organized, but I think that's a that's a conversation for like when we broaden it out and admit that we don't have all the answers, but if we all collectively <laughs> came together, somebody would. It's just you know legal organizing stuff. And it's yeah. hard, but it's doable, you know? Yeah. It's the it's social true. logic that Ex- defines it. Exactly. The, and the thing you always say that, like, it's like none of this shit's that old to begin with. They made, they yeah. fucking changed a, a league where half of them were Looney Tunes characters and they just absorbed that in the <laughs> NBA. And they had a ball with a rainbow on it. Like, that shit was fake. We don't even remember that shit. Yeah. The yeah. fucking St. Louis uh, Browns or something is like eight different teams in eight different sports. I don't even know the legacy of that shit. Like, yeah. all this shit's made up. It's not that hard to get together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They used to argue about, hey, should biracials play in the Negro League? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, they, we had the dumbest fucking arguments. We're just having the different versions of the same shit now, you know? It's like, there's there's women that I know for a fact that could beat me in basketball. And they're, you know what? And it goes the other way. It's like, Damn, that's I, don't, crazy. I really don't, I don't think there's, there's, <laughs> couldn't be me, dog. Couldn't be me. But like. Me personally. Yeah, but like the reality that. is. She not but, dunking on me, though. <laughs> Brittany. Yeah. Yeah. Not Zach's, obs- Zach's she'll, fucking. I'm obsessed. It's she'll bad. I'm, I'm so happy. It's so bad. I'm so happy she's coming home. Huh? Yeah. yeah, man. So he has a, he has a, y'all can do great things together. Zach has a yeah. thing for really big women. Yeah. Like, yeah. not, oh, not yeah. like, like vertically, vertically very you big. You like that Game of Thrones girl, don't you? Big old FIFA foam. <laughs> <laughs> Jack and the ass. Beanstalk. Jack, yeah. He yeah. wants to be held in a diaper. Yeah. When, 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 <laughs> when my bitch is walking towards me in the house, I want my water glass to tremble a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Jurassic Park ripples coming out of that shit. <laughs> Like, hey, bro, you scared That's of the P5 how holes. Big. That's how big I'm talking. I don't know about y'all. Damn, bro. I want her to... Slam dunk. I would love, who, honestly, I love... There, there needs to be a, a head-shaped hole in every doorway that, <laughs> so she can uh, fit through it. Want her, to, want, her to, want her to ball me up like in Space Jam when the Monstars was just uh-huh. like squished him into the basketball? Yeah, yeah. A Navi uh, height woman yeah. would be crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a great fairy from Legend of Zelda. This is yeah. actually the set of Avatar 2. They're letting us use it now. That now done. that Britney's out. Hey, Jimmy. Jimmy Cam. Now that, <laughs> now that Britney's out. That's I what can, I call him. I can finally pitch Jimmy Cam. my anime that I, I had, my mm-hmm. anime idea, mm-hmm. which is Britney Griner. She's in, she's in a gulag. Okay. And oh, we, te- we texted about this. We yeah. texted about this. We had Brittany basically Griner. a writer's tournament room arc. in the chat about tournament this. Tournament arc yeah. in the gulag. Stud tournament arc. <laughs> Stud tournament arc. We, ha- we had... <laughs> she's going crazy. We had a episode. writer's room in the chat about this, and I was like, somehow, mm-hmm. the hands... Her hands have to turn into basketballs by the For end of it. For some reason, they turn into basketballs. Whatever reason. Okay, so like a Because that's just what like, Japanese... Like, like, man, that, right. That's just how so it her, works. It's her just, basketball-shaped yeah. cat uh, sacrificed She dunks on Vladimir Putin, and he dies. Oh, he shot himself recently. Are you serious? Because you didn't hear about this? Because he got it was crossed so funny. over by Brittany Griner. It was so funny. The news. <laughs> no, I'm, I swear imagine to God. Getting, <laughs> imagine getting crossed over so bad you shit he, yourself. He fell down yeah, a flight shit. of. He fell down a flight of stairs and shit himself. And the world's so insane that Brittany Griner crossed him up. So white chocolate hard. He fell down stairs. White chocolate yeah. pulled up. <laughs> he thought he was a comrade because he had this the skinhead. And he went. I saw a video of him driving. That shit was so weird to me for some reason. I don't even know. White why chocolate or Putin? Putin. <laughs> I'm, I'm always. <laughs> that was his that. name, right? right. White chocolate. Mm-hmm. And one. Right. And one. Uh, Wasn't it the professor? Oh, the professor. Oh, the professor. Yeah. 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 Who's white chocolate? I mean, that's <laughs> him too. You made it. <laughs> oh, they, they, do they call him white chocolate too? Putin. Um, I don't know. I would imagine. You're like I said. I don't watch sports. That is a Nigga, pretty no. Ricky member. White, white chocolate. chocolate. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna Google this. Yeah. 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 And oh, the, we watched an in one uh, documentary recently, and it is just exactly what you think happened. Sad. Just yeah. three white guys being like, "Oh man, they can play some basketball," and like oh, they were feeding them like Domino's pizza, like Bro. they were not getting paid anything. And um, one of the dudes, what's his name, Hot Sauce, he yeah. sold them so many fucking shoes, yeah. like an yeah. unreal amount. D- had nothing to do with him. Didn't didn't Bro. pay anything. Just look it up. Oh, white yeah, chocolate is another and one. And one. But I was thinking about the and, and one. Yeah. <laughs> if, if anybody needs like 
kind of a, a precursor or entry level thing of something that I think that capitalism ruined that we all mm. love from our childhood that what y'all yeah. are talking about would yeah. have prevented yes and made an even better version of Bigger. it and one. Oh my god yeah. all the legendary oh, moments yeah. we could have seen by now right. and fucking one bro yeah because this them niggas didn't go away them type of ball players didn't just I still yeah. watch professor videos right now yeah like yeah. a collectively owned and one would still be around till yeah. this fucking moment you know, it'd be crazy. And all the players would be secure and they Chilling. would never be, they wouldn't have to be washed up and fucking go yeah. work at, they you made, know, go for look UPS up or that whatever. That documentary, the fuck. how many millions they made off the shoes, and the players were literally getting worse food than like the tour managers. Yeah, I right. swear to God, it's the most fucked up thing you'll ever see. So like and they were like, and then the the like owners are like you're being interviewed in like 2021, being like, they didn't like it. They could have you know, like they're more, right, more sense. Right. Okay, so like, what if, what if, what if it was like a collectively owned and one uh, basketball league, and then once they, once they age out of actually playing, they go into teaching improv classes, mm. <laughs> and it's called. Yes, and. you're not gonna believe what it's called. <laughs> Sorry to me. Yes, and one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, I like that. Like you're that. writing that down. You like, I like that? that. You're writing that down. I got it. What? I, yeah. You yeah. feel me on that, right? Yeah, so yeah. I completely feel you. Could we Guess get, what? Could we get Peter Griffin's house one last time <laughs> just to send us off? Oh, is it time? I mean, we've been going for a minute. What's, well, what time 11, is it? 11.10. Right? Oh, well, we started hella late, though. But I guess we got to call it. Um, I just, you feel me, though, Buck, right? <laughs> okay. I'm not a star. Somebody lied. I got a monkey in my car, and I'll make it come alive. And you be like John Lennon, Barry and Louie. I'm fucking all. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. There we go. There we go. Thank you for kicking off the show. 2022. What year is it again? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Started the whole thing off with us in February. February. Closing it out Discrimber. with us in the Scrumber. In the Scrumber. This is a beautiful thing. Been fun, man. Both times. I'm saying this like I'm about to die. <laughs> <laughs> <This is my, laughs> now nah, we gotta do it again. I just like being more time. I just I can't tell you how yeah. much. Yeah. Makes me happy. Yeah, just imagine. Just pick it. We never got space. Out. Can we, can we get space in the closing? In the, in the closing minutes of this? I wanna be in space with my nigga. I'm in space outer with space. my nigga. I wanna be in outer <laughs> space like like we closing, like we finna get back into the spaceship that we building. I don't want Peter Ooh. Griffin house. I want us no, in the this space. is hard. I just want this us in the spaceship stars. right here. I just want us in the stars. Flying around, I'm in space with my nigga. Wow. Well, now I feel like we in a, a, a planetarium. Of course, <laughs> right? It's firm right. porch. Oh, <laughs> all the way over here. There's a million quartz. Firm, firm bank, firm, All the way over here. When's the, last, when's the last time you went to firm bank? You take all the genders. Put them in a blender. Put them in a blender. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. Yeah. You see me out here mm -hmm. floating. I'm in space, nigga. Okay. Uh -huh. I said I want to be free. I rest my case, nigga. <sighs> she put that pussy in my mouth. I like that taste, nigga. Whoa. <laughs> oh, man. Whoa. Kittens? I keep that pussy in my mouth, just in case, nigga. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Like, like a skull. Like pack. a jolly ring. I asked my nigga how he keep the pussy inside of his mouth. He said, shit, I used to keep it inside of my couch. Ooh. Whoa. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Fuck. Storing it everywhere. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Yeah. 
I put it in my underwear. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm. When I'm talking about pussy, I'm talking about money. Talk to money. Him. Talk to him. When you see the dollar signs, ain't shit funny. Mm. <laughs> what so you why got, you, nigga? Why you laughing? Funny money? Your hoodie say full court press. Press me, nigga. I lost everything I got. Cause I'm a dumbass nigga. Whoa. Ooh. Forgot what I was talking about, cause I'm a dumbass dumb nigga. nigga. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Overcollective.com oh. <laughs> slash jaded forum. <laughs> the Rolfus brothers gotta go home and go to sleep and eat. If you want more of this. <laughs> One. Two. Three. Uh. Four. Yeah. That's it. That was that was the last one. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a wrap. <laughs>